nutrients. We've got you covered. Now that's a good morning. We take care of you so you can take on your day. Start your day with Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. Based on a survey of pharmacists who recommend branded vitamins and supplements. Steins and Vines 2024 is on Saturday, February 10th at the Sioux City Convention Center. And general admission tickets are on sale for just $30 at all sponsor locations in Sioux City during their hours of operation. You can get them at Marto Brewing, Old Chicago, Beer on Floyd, Downtown Liquor, and Corkett in Lamar's. Or online at steinsvines.com for a small convenience fee. VIP tickets are all sold out, but you can still get your general admission tickets and spend your afternoon enjoying over 200 varieties of beer, Iowa wine, hard ciders, seltzers and energy drinks general admission hours are 1 to 3 30 p.m also available that day are designated driver wristbands for just ten dollars so don't wait get your tickets today for steins and vines 2024 now before they are all gone get them at marto brewing old chicago beer on floyd downtown liquor and cork it in lamar's or online at steinsvines.com for a small convenience fee must be 21 to attend check out steinsvines.com for more information or follow us on social media this is Nikki Johnson, and I am a 1986 graduate of Galen Catholic Schools. My nine siblings and I were blessed with parents who knew the importance of a Catholic education and made many sacrifices to ensure we all graduated from Galen Catholic. They knew that the morals and Catholic foundation that they set for us went beyond our home. The Catholic schools are an extension of our faith beliefs and a place where we received a wonderful Christian education, which included daily religion classes, weekly school masses, and service to others. In recognition of Catholic Schools Week, Joel and I at the Mauer Johnson Funeral Home would like to thank the teachers, students, administrators, and parents who dedicate themselves to Catholic education. Catholic Schools, walking together in faith and love. This is 1410 KLEM Lamar's and on 96.9 FM. Bonderson picked his pocket in transition one on none. Oh, and an emphatic two-handed jam. It's now time for high school basketball on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. And that goes to Holes, drives middle of the paint to the hoop for the right hand, scores plus another foul. High school basketball. Poland starts to run out, double bounce pass, left block, sits in off glass, count the basket and the foul. Now let's head courtside for all the action. Hazel at the top of the key, blows by his defender, all the way to the basket, the right hand layup goes. Here's KLEM Sports Director, Daniel Versteg. Well, a very pleasant good Monday evening to you basketball fans. We welcome you to Hinton for tonight's Oracle Conference girls and boys basketball doubleheader as the Blackhawks welcome in the Jays of Galen Catholic for a uh, couple of basketball contests on coaches versus cancer nights. Once again, good evening, everyone. Daniel Versteg with you. We welcome into our pregame coverage of the girls contest here tonight between Galen Catholic and the 11th ranked team in class 2A, the Blackhawks of Hinton. Should be a nice night for basketball. A couple of teams who are uh, kind of experiencing two different kinds of seasons. Of course, the Blackhawks ranked number 11 in 2A. And they're 15 and 2. Their two losses on the year came to now the number three ranked team in 2A, the Westwood Rebels, and the fourth ranked team in 1A, Rims and St. Mary's. That's all there is to it this season. They've had some really good wins on the year and have proven to be uh, one of the top teams in the area and an eight and one conference record. They are currently second in the Warrigal Conference, can finish off a nine and one league record coming up on Friday. Meanwhile, Galen Catholic kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. They are two and 16 on the year, one and seven of the Warrigal Conference. Finally got that big long losing streak out of the way. Got a win on Friday night at South O'Brien, a buzzer beating victory on the three ball by Larissa Poland. And that uh, gave the Jays hopefully a bit of confidence heading into their final full week of the regular season. Just a week and a half to go. They play tonight, they play Friday night, they play Tuesday night next week, and then it is regional time the following Thursday the 8th. Meanwhile, Hinton probably won't play their first round regional contest until I believe the 13th is the uh, uh, what would be the quarterfinal round of the 2A regional though of those play-in games on the 10th. So uh, Hinton will have to wait a little while to get their postseason started, but Galen Catholic will uh, get right into it right after the regular season comes to an end. This uh, Galen Catholic squad has, of course, been dealing with, uh, of course, the struggles this season. The record is definitely not the, where, the way they want it. And uh, they've been having to fight through, the, of course, some of the uh, 
uh, injury bugs and uh, player unavailability, uh, unavailability bugs. Those are uh, definitely not things you want to experience, but thankfully, Jays uh, look to be as healthy as can be heading into a matchup with a Hinton squad that can pretty much do everything right as far as their height, and they're one of the tallest teams in the area. Uh, as far as their quickness, they can hang with the best of them, especially on the defensive end with Cadence Peters and uh, the national and Kovarna kind of gets uh, dirty down in the uh, uh, in trying to force balls loose. Bailey Booby does that in the post as well. Uh, they move the ball so well. That's the thing that really stands out about a team that's that's this sizable, so tall, and uh, you would expect. Well, they're just post players. They're uh, their size really maybe hinders them a little bit, but it does not. The uh, Blackhawks move the ball so well. They're so unselfish. 20 assists a ball game, and uh, it's why they average about 60 points a game. But, again, it goes back to also the success of the defensive end. I know I have talked to a lot of coaches. They all say the same thing. Our defense turns into offense, and when you can hold a team to under 30 points every single night and force 18 steals a game, you're doing something right. That's what the Blackhawks need to be doing here again today. Uh, Galen knows one thing for certain. Uh, they don't know how this game's going to turn out. They don't know how uh, they're going to play in tonight's contest. But one thing is for certain, they are going to face a press. And they are going to face a press the likes of which they see only against two teams this season. Remsen St. Mary's presses them to death, and Hinton presses them to death. It's something that the Jays have improved on, though. Uh, last year, a team pressed Galen Catholic, and uh, Jays were not able to answer it in any co a competent way. This year, they break presses very well. They take care of the basketball exceptionally well, and they're a team that uh, you have to be ready for as far as uh, someone that can uh, cherry pick you. If, you. if you bite too far on the press and uh, leave the backside open, Galen knows how to take advantage of that and how to uh, really... Um, you know, make you pay for it, and uh, we'll see if that ends up happening here tonight. Because if you remember, back in uh, oh, boy, before all that snowstorm stuff came our way, it was the last game we had on our airways before the snowstorm hit, January fifth at Galen, J uh, Blackhawks won it sixty-four to thirty-five. That final score did not really reflect how close it was in the first half. It was only a one-score game hanging in the locker room, and then uh, the Blackhawks turned it on there in the second half. But that just goes to show you that if you don't uh, play your best brand of basketball on any given night, teams in this area can uh, make you pay for it, and we'll see if the Jays can hang around a little bit, see if uh, Hinton allows them to hang around, because uh, that was uh, definitely evident back on the 5th of January. Second half, much better for the Blackhawks that night, but it was a struggle there for quite a while uh, to get uh, the Blackhawks into their rhythm for the first 16 minutes of the game. But it should be a great night of basketball. We're looking forward to seeing what Hinton's got in store. The Blackhawks have not lost in 2024. They are currently riding a very impressive eight-game winning streak and are trying to take as much momentum into the postseason as possible. Of course, this is the last home regular season game of the year for Hinton. I should guarantee, I should hope they would have at least uh, up until the regional final at home. Regional finals in 2A will be neutral site games, of course. But, uh, gosh, you would have to imagine they would uh, have the semifinal at home, too, be, uh, be it because of their 11th ranked status in Class 2A. This is a Hinton squad. Again, does a lot of things well, and Galen's got to be ready for pretty much all of it. They've got to be ready to post up against uh, Bailey Booby. They've got to be ready to um, face off with a point guard in Ashlyn Kovarna that has a ton of size but also a ton of quickness. She has an, a wicked first step, and the Jays have to be ready for that. Here tonight. Of course, we're going to have the boys contest for you on our airwaves tonight as well. The Galen and Hinton boys were in a great battle earlier in the year, a game that finished in favor of the Jays 62 to 43. Hinton kind of got cold there late, and uh, the Jays took advantage of it. So should be a fun night of basketball. Both games proved to be entertaining ones, and we'll have them for you on our airwaves right here on KLEM Radio with online audio at KLEM1410.com. You can also catch a video stream of this contest. That's found on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. And we thank our great sponsors, Northwest Bank, Peace Pizza House, Easy Clean Car Wash, and Realtor at Century 21 Pro Link. 
Julie Hurt. We'll take a break, come back, and uh, when we do, we'll get you your starting lineup, says the Jays get set to take on the 11th-ranked Blackhawks in War Eagle Conference girls basketball. Starting lineups come your way next. You're listening to War Eagle Conference basketball on KLEM. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, Easy of Hy-Vee and Lamar's. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. This is Larissa Pullen, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. And we welcome you back inside the Hinton High School Gymnasium here in Hinton for tonight's War Eagle Conference girls and boys basketball matchup between the Blackhawks and the Galen Catholic Jays. Daniel Versteg with you right here on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video streaming as well on the KLEM radio YouTube channel. Let's take a look at our starting lineups tonight. First for Galen Catholic, the Jays with a 2-16 and record, 1-7 and in the Warrior Conference under ninth year head coach Brandon Shecker. The starting lineup is a 5'8 junior guard, an honorable mention all-conference selection last year. That'd be Rizea Sitzman. The 5'1 senior guard, that's Haley Poland, averaging two points and three rebounds a contest. 5'5 senior guard, the hero against South O'Brien on Friday night, that'd be Larissa Poland. 5'9", junior center, that's Samantha Zubrod. Two points, five rebounds a contest. And around out of line of a 5'10", senior center, averaging six points, three rebounds, and a steal a contest. That'd be Nevea Hudson. Brandon Shecker, the head coach of Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. He is assisted by Brian Kolbeck. Now for Hinton Community, the number 11 ranked team in Class 2A, a 15 and 2 record on the year, 8 and 1 in the Wargo Conference, currently in second place. They are under the direction of longtime head coach 
Matt Leary. The starting lineup looks like this. It'll be a five foot six senior guard. That is Cadence Peters, who had six steals against a uh, tough uh, matchup on Friday night. That's a six foot nothing sophomore forward. A third team All State selection last year as a freshman. That's Bailey Booby. Five foot eleven sophomore forward and guard combination. That's Carlin Kovarna. She had twelve points, six assists. Uh, six steals and five assists against Hartley Melvin Sanborn on Friday. It's a five foot eight senior forward. Kind of does a lot of the dirty work for the Blackhawks. That's Avery Burkett, averaging five points, four rebounds, and a steal to half a contest. And then around at the lineup, it's a six foot nothing senior uh, forward and point guard, two time All World Conference selection. Ashlyn Kovarnum leading the conference in assists. She has exactly 100 assists on the year, just over six assists a game this season. That's Matt Leary is a starting lineup, head coach of Hinton Girls Basketball, assisted by Ben Hertenstein and Ryan Stusey. Should be a great night of basketball between the Blackhawks and the Jays. It always is, whether the records are close or whether they are far apart. It's uh, really a uh, good, uh, good matchup between these two in girls and boys basketball. The Blackhawks ranked number 11, 15 and 2 on the year. Galen Catholic 2 and 16 on the season. We will take one more break and when we come back, we're going to get this one tipped off from the Hinton High School gym in Hinton. It's the Blackhawks and the Jays and it's coming up in just a few minutes right here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM KLEM Lamars. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS.net to learn more. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamars supports our local student athletes trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC located at 38 First Avenue Northwest Lamars, Iowa. Kemp's Dairy of Lamars is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products and they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pea's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pea's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pea's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. This is Sammy Zurod, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. And we welcome you back inside the Hinton High School Gym here in Hinton for tonight's Oregon Conference Girls and Boys Basketball doubleheader between the Blackhawks of Hinton Community and the Jays of Galen Catholic. Tip-off coming up in just a couple of minutes, or a couple moments, I should say. The Blackhawks ranked number 11 in Class 2A with a 15-2 record. Galen Catholic... Coming off a win on Friday night, sitting at 2-16 and 16 on the year. Should be a fun matchup. It was a fun uh, first half of this contest between these two, and then Hinton just really poured it on late. 
We'll see if we have uh, more of the same here tonight or if uh, Galen can keep it going after the halftime break. Ready to tip this one off. Ashlyn Kovarna wins the opening tap. The Blackhawks have the first possession. Quick pass from Booby down to Carlin Kovarna. Results in left hand layup for two. And the Blackhawks score early. It's 2-0 Hinton. Jays break the press though. Here they come now with Haley Poland up the left side lane to the block. Has to try and bounce it out and Cadence Peters ripped away the basketball. Ashlyn Kovarna, long outlet pass to the left baseline. Carlin Kovarna, one dribble to the block, lays it off glass and in for two. And it's a four nothing start to the night for Hinton with 30 seconds gone in the first quarter. Now Haley Poland travels with the basketball in the backcourt and Hinton will get it back. Hinton will inbound on the right side wing with Ashlyn Kovarna. Down to the right corner for Cadence Peters and back out to Kovarna. Right side wing. 7.23 to go in the first quarter. 4-0. Hinton leads. Skip pass left. Peters down to the left corner. Carlin Kovarna. A shot fake. Drives the baseline. Back out to Peters. Reverses to the free throw line. Booby. Out right of the circles. Kovarna lobs it down to the left block. Carlin Kovarna lays it off glass and in. And Carlin's got all six points for Hinton. Here to start the night, it's 6-0 Blackhawks, a minute gone in the first quarter. And now Nevaeh Hudson's pass up the floor, taken away by Burkhead. Long outlet, Ashlyn Kovarna, middle of the lane, Booby, right hand layup from the right block and in for two. And it's an 8-0 Hinton advantage to start, a minute 10 gone in the first quarter. Here comes Galen. They get up into the half court now to Isaiah Sitzman. Skips a pass left corner. Haley Poland over to Larissa Poland. Bounce up top to Sitzman. Dribbles to her left, one hand pass Larissa Poland. Guarded by Cadence Peters. Double team trap there. Force the ball loose. Poland recovers. Skip pass right side wing. Open jumper. Missed short off the uh, fingertips of Sammy Zubrod. And the rebound taken back with the Blackhawks. Long outlet. Cadence Peters. Right block. Missed the layup strong. Rebound tapped out. Peters recovers. Down to the right block for Bailey Booby, who lays it up and in. And it's a 10 0 Hinton lead. And we got a timeout on the floor from Brandon Shecker, the head coach of the Jays. 6 16 to go in the first. 10 0 Hinton start. We're back with more high school basketball after this here on KLEM. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. This is Emerson Schmidt, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Back to Hinton in the Hinton High School gym. 6-16 to go in the first quarter. 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic 10-0. And the Jays trying to break the full court press after Hinton has really dominated things so far. Larissa Poland gets into the half court just before a 10 second count. Sitzman right lane, skip pass left wing, a three ball from Haley. Poland rims in and out, offensive board from Zubrod and she's fouled on the floor. And the Jays will have the inbound under the basket on the foul committed by Avery Burgad. Burgad's first, that's the first foul of the night for either team. And Galen will inbound baseline left of the hoop. So Galen inbounds, left high post, Nevaeh Hodson drives to the right block, and a layup is up and good for Samantha Zubrod, and the Blackhawks give up their first points, but in transition now, Cadence Peters misses a layup strong, and then she gets fouled on the floor, going for the putback. So it'll be an inbound baseline right of the hoop for Ashlyn Kovarna, 10-2, hint in advantage. And the inbound goes to the right corner for Avery Burghead. Lob pass into the paint. It is for Ashlyn Kovarna, and then taken away by Rysea Sitzman. Here comes Sitzman, left of the lane to the block. Scoops it high off glass. It went, but the shot came after a foul. And the foul goes against Cadence Peters. That's her first team foul, number two of the first quarter. So the inbound from Sitzman. And an offensive foul is going away from the basketball. And it's called against Nevaeh Hodson. I think she set an illegal pick. It's her first personal, team foul number two. 10 to two, Hinton lead, 5.37 to go in the first quarter. Good timeout used by Coach Shecker. It's kind of stemmed the bleeding here for just a moment now. 
Here's Bergad, right corner, throws it back out to Peters, and Rizea Sitzman takes away the pass. Jays go quickly the other way to the left baseline and dribbles it out in the left corner. Out top, Nevea Hudson, open three-pointer, and she drills it. Nevea Hudson from the top of the arc, and the Jays have cut it to five. Here come the Blackhawks, quickly right lane. Cadence Peters from the block, missed the layup off the rejection by Hudson, but a foul called in the process, and two free throws for Cadence Peters, and that's quickly foul number two against Nevea Hudson. Team foul number three of the first quarter. And Cadence Peters, a 48.5% free throw shooter, has two at the line. Her first is too strong. It's a 10 to 5 Hinton lead, 5.13 to play in quarter number one. Second free throw for Peters is up off the left side, no good. 0 for 2, trip of the line for Cadence Peters, and the Jays bring it up the floor with Rizea Sitzman. Left of the circles, guarded by Peters out of the half court. Right side wing now for Larissa Poland. Skips it left side, left corner pass. Sammy Zubrod looking, dribbles to her right, bounces top of the key. Hodson, lob pass left corner. Larissa Poland drives to the left elbow. Kick out pass right wing. Haley Poland back out up top for Hodson. Dumps it left of the lane. A Sitzman left block, hook shot, missed short. Might have been deflected in the process, and the rebound taken back by Hinton. They go quickly with Ashlyn Kovarna. Left side wing, they dump it into the paint. Booby, a double team, bounce it out right baseline. 15 footer in the corner's good from Cadence Peters. Got her first basket to fall finally. 12 5, Hinton on top. 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Jays now have to break the press of Hinton. Double team trap from the Kovarnas on Larissa Poland. She gets tied up for possession of the basketball. It'll be a jump ball. Possession stays with Galen. Pretty rocky start here to the night for Galen Catholic. They just got to kind of fight through the press. They trail at 12-5, 4.24 to go in the first quarter. Isaiah Sitzman with the inbound up the floor to Larissa Poland now, right of the circle. Bounced it off the leg of Carlin Kovarna and out of bounds. It'll stay with Galen. Grace Callen checked into the ball game for the Jays. No substitutions yet for Hinton. Inbound into Rizea Sitzman. She dribbles to her left, picked up by Ashlyn Kovarna. Crossover dribble to her right, throws it out off a deflection. Polam recovers a loose ball, dribbles to the arc, tees up a three from the right wing and missed it short on the rebound for Avery Burgett. Here come the Blackhawks quickly. They'd like to run it up the floor. Right corner, Peters. Right side wing, Burgett. Skip pass, left side corner. Carlin Kovarna tees up the three, missed it short. And long rebound controlled by Larissa Polin. Poland brings it up the floor for the Jays as the Blackhawks sag up, up uh, sag off up by t- seven. 3.45 to go in the first. Larissa Poland bounce pass right corner, Grace Kellen. Ball swiped at by Ashlyn Kovarna. Kellen trying to pivot out. Five second call ticking down. They bounce it out to Rizea Sitzman. Sitzman dribbling left to the top of the arc and picks up her dribble. Now she's stuck with it. Bounces it left to the lane, trying to get to Hodson. Burgad there trying to force the ball loose. Shot clock's at seven. Pass across the lane, gets deflected out off the Jays. And it will be Hinton basketball going the other way. 12-5 to the score in favor of Hinton. 3.22 to play in quarter number one. And the Blackhawks bring it across with Ashlyn Kovarna. Right side corner, it's Avery Burkhead. Lobs at free throw line. Booby, touch pass down to the right block. Carlin Kovarna leans into the defender. Her fadeaway jumper missed short. Offensive board, Booby, put back no. Second try is good. Count it plus a foul. Bailey Booby, the second try was the charm. And she'll have an and one free throw coming on the foul committed. Believe by Grace Kellen. And one free throw coming here for Bailey Booby. As Galen picks up team foul number four. It is against Grace Kellen, her first. Booby at the line shooting one. Trying to put the Blackhawks back up by 10, and the free throw rims in and out. And the defensive rebound pulled down by Emerson Schmidt. Here comes Larissa Poland now into the half court for the Jays. Bounces right side wing for Sitzman. Jabs left, goes right, spins around Peters. Middle of the lane, left-hand runner off the left side of the rim, no good. And the rebound tracked down by Hinton. Here comes Ashlyn Kovarno. One-hand pass, left corner. Cadence Peters tees up a three, missed it short. Rebound tapped into the corner and out of bounds. Off Ashlyn Kovarna. And it'll be Galen Catholic basketball. With 2.45 to go in the first quarter, Hinton leads Galen Catholic 14-5. And the Jays trying to work the basketball up the floor, and they get into the hands of Grace Kellen. Nearly lost the dribble, recovered it. Double team tied up the basketball, and the jump ball is called. Possession goes to Hinton. Blackhawks just really do a good job of getting their hands in there and forcing loose balls, tie-ups, whatever it may be. 
Here's Berg out in the right corner. Skip pass left side wing. Ashlyn Kovarna wide open. Look at a three. That's up and in. Ashlyn Kovarna knocks one in for the left side wing. Her first basket. It's 17-5. Hinton on top. 2.20 to go in the first. Jays bring it up with Poland. Ball swiped at from behind. Left corner kick out for Schmidt. Left wing. Bounce pass top. Poland tees up a three. Missed it strong. Rebound for Bailey Booby. And the Blackhawks start to run out quickly. Right corner pass into the hands of Cadence Peters. Back out right wing. Kovarna dumps it right block. Bailey Booby with a right hand lays it off the glass and in. And it continues to be a hint in dominance here. Booby with eight. 19-5 Blackhawks. Minute 50 to go in the first quarter. Grace Kellen gets across the timeline. Lost the dribble out of bounds. And it's Hinton basketball on the forced turnover by the Blackhawks. Keely DeRoshi checks in here for Hinton. And Sammy Zubrod's in for Nevaeh Hodson. JC, for Galen, J.C. Fender will check in as well for the Jays. And Larissa Poland checks out. 19-5, Hinton on top, minute 46 to go in the first quarter. And the Blackhawks bring it up the floor with Ashlyn Kovarna. The conference's leader in assists. He's already got a few here in this first quarter. Around the perimeter, they go right corner to Avery Bergad. Right elbow, Booby. Kick out pass, left wing. Ashlyn Kovarna, left baseline to Rochi. Bounce it out. And a three ball from Kovarna's nothing but net. From the left side wing, Ashlyn Kovarna puts the Blackhawks up 17. And nearly has a takeaway, deflecting a pass to the end line and out of bounds. It's Galen basketball. The minute 23 to go in the first quarter. 22 to 5, Hinton on top. Isaiah Sitzman in the backcourt, throws it over to Grace Kellen, and Sitzman a little limpy as she gets the pass back. Now drives right lane to the block, and a blocking foul called as she runs into Avery Bergad. So Bergad commits the foul. That's her second. Team foul number three of the quarter for Hinton, and Carlin Kovarn is going to have to check in for Avery Bergad. Minute 12 to go in quarter number one. 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic 22 to five. Inbound right of the circles at Zubrod. Handoff, three ball from Sitzman. Missed it strong. Long rebound controlled by Booby. Throws it up to Cadence Peters, who's got a one on none to the basket with a right hand scoop layup off glass for two. It's 24 to five in favor of Hinton. 54 seconds to go in the first quarter. Long outlet pass to JC Fender. She drives left to the alley. Lost the ball out to the corner, kicks it out top of the key. Sitzman drives by the lane, teardrop of the left hand, spins around and out. And the rebound for Hinton once again. Ashlyn Kovarna, long outlet, Cadence Peters under the basket, throws it back to the middle of the floor. Nobody was there for Hinton. Sitzman takes away the loose ball. Here comes Rizea, left side, high post, throws it out up top, Grace Kellen. Bounced it back, Sitzman left of the circle, open three, spins out, and the rebound for DeRoshi. Hinton with a long 50-foot pass up the floor. Cadence Peters right lane to the block. Layup missed short, but she was fouled. And two free throws coming for Cadence Peters. And that foul is going against Grace Kellen. It's her second. Team foul number five. Hinton's in the bonus for the rest of the quarter. All 20 and a half seconds of it. Two free throws coming here for Cadence Peters. And the shot is up and in. 25 to five. Hinton leads it. Here in Weigel Conference basketball. Second free throw for Peters. Can make it a 21-point Blackhawk advantage. After a couple of dribbles, the shot is up and in. 26 to 5. Hinton leads it. 20 and a half seconds to go in the first. See if the Jays can get the last look of the quarter. Haley Lubin throws it up into the hands of Bailey Booby. Gets an easy uncontested left hand layup off glass and in. Booby's now got 10. It's 28 to five, Hinton. Eight seconds to go in the first quarter and Cadence Peters swipes the dribble out of bounds. Jays will have the inbound of the half court stripe with seven seconds to go in the quarter. 28-5, Hinton leads. Haley Lubin inbounds, half court circle. Haley Poland dribbles right of the circles. Bounced it back, Rizea Sitzman jabs left, goes right middle of the lane, ball swipe loose. Cadence Peters the loose ball and that'll be the end of one quarter of play. Your score, Hinton 28, Galen Catholic five. A strong start for the Blackhawks, ranked number 11 in 2A. We'll have quarter number two after this here on KLEM. When it comes to service, your Lamar's hy V is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. 
Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Hi, sports fans. This is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar's. We're happy to have a huge selection of what you need to efficiently maintain your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar's. This is Haley Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We brought you back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Verstek with you on KLEM. Start of quarter number two. 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic 28 to 5 here in Wargo Conference Girls Basketball. Bryce Hayes Sitzman throws a cross court into the hands of Haley Poland on the right wing. She dribbles to her left. It gets bumped by Carlin Kovarna and a foul call. Inbound coming for Galen Catholic. The foul is Kovarna's first and team foul number one of quarter number two for Hinton. Jays inbound quickly to the right elbow for Haley Poland. Ball poked loose. Haley recovers out to Sitzman at the top of the arc. Isaiah left of the circles. Ball fakes to her right, back to her left. Dumps it to the right side of the circles for Larissa Poland. Crossover a double team. Top of the circle, Lubin. Back to the left side wing. Sitzman tees up a deep three ball and drills it. Isaiah Sitzman from the left wing gets the Jays started in quarter number two on a high note. 28-8, hinted on top. Here's Ashlyn Kovarna down to the right block for Booby, and that ball gets deflected out by Hudson. Nice job of knowing Kovarna was going to look to pass right away, and that's something she does well. But he also can't just leave her out there. Kovarna inbounds, right baseline, Booby, kick out pass right corner. Kovarna's three, missed short, and the rebound controlled by Haley Lubin. That's Ashlyn Kovarna's first miss of the night from the field, two of three from downtown now. Larissa Poland. Right side, high post, steps back beyond the arc. Over to Haley Poland, top of the key. And the ball swiped at by Ashlyn Kovarna. Results in a tie-up for possession of the basketball. Jump ball called. And possession goes to the Blackhawks with the alternating arrow. Seven minutes to go in the first half. 28-8, 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic. And here's Ashlyn Kovarna to the half court. Left corner feed for Carlin Kovarna. Dribbles right off a pick from Bailey Booby. Now they dump it down to Booby on a pick and roll. Skip pass right baseline. Derochi, a little 12-foot pull-up is good. Nice shot from Keeley Derochi. Got the open look. 30-8. to eight. Hinton on top. 6.39 to go before halftime. Rizea Sitzman dribbles. Spins out to Haley Lubin at the top of the arc. Lubin dribbles left. Lobs it left corner to Larissa Poland. Drives on the defender. Left block. Runner with the right hand. Off glass was good. Count the basket and she was fouled. Larissa Pohl in the basket, plus one more, courtesy of the foul by Keely DeRochi. And that's her first. Team foul number two of the second quarter, and one free throw coming for Larissa Pohlin. And the shot is up. It's off the right side, no good. Still 30-10 to 10 in favor of Hinton. Here comes Ashlyn Kovarna, free throw line. Left baseline kick out for Carlin Kovarna. Curls to the left elbow, left corner to Ashlyn. And Ashlyn dribbles right, crosses back to her left to the baseline and back out left wing. They reverse it around the perimeter, right corner to DeRochi. Dribbles off a pick from Booby. Top of the arc, Cadence Peters, an open look at a three, and it's strong. Offensive rebound, Carlin Kovarna dribbles it out. Back out to Ashlyn on the left wing. Pass up top, Cadence Peters reverses. Back to the left side for Ashlyn Kovarna. Left corner, Carlin. She's guarded by Rizea Sitzman. Dribbles inside the arc. Carlin bounced it out. Ashlyn, shot clock's at 18. Kovarna, top of the key. Booby gets an open look at a three and puts it in. Bailey Booby, her first three-point attempt of the year. It's her first make of the year. And it's 33-10. Hinton leads it. 5.30 to go before halftime. Larissa Paul and double-team trap. Bounced it out. Lubin, turnaround 15-footer from the right wing is too strong. And the rebound for the Blackhawks. Here comes Ashlyn Kovarn into the half court. Drives left of the lane. Floater up from the left block. Right-handed miss strong. Offense or defensive rebound for Larissa Poland. Jays want to start the run out. Here's Haley Poland right lane to the block. Throws it up and that shot got rejected by Keely DeRochi in transition. And the rebound taken back by the Blackhawks. Carlin Kovarn to left corner. Drives the baseline left block. Leans into Vea Hudson. Pull up jumper too strong off the heel. And the rebound for the Jays. Sits him into the half court. 
Blackhawks up 33 to 10, 4.53 to go before halftime. Sitzman off a pick, left side wing, dribbles down toward the corner, bounced it over to Larissa Poland. Larissa trying to dribble out of it and does, left of the lane to the block, floats the shot up off the left side of the glass, no good, and then a foul is called against the Jays, going after the rebound. Fouls on Haley Poland, it's her first. Team foul number one of the second quarter. 33 to 10, 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic. 440 to play before halftime. And the Blackhawks will bring it up the floor with Cadence Peters. She's picked up by Haley Poland as the Blackhawks face kind of a modified zone look it looks like. Right side wing kick out, Carlin Kovarna now bounced it, free throw line, Booby to the left baseline to Rochi, out left side wing, Cadence Peters. To Carlin Kovarna, right side wing, looking for a cutting to Rochi, throws it back to the Rochi, left baseline, drives into the alley, right hand hook shot, danced in and out, got halfway down, didn't want to go, and here come the Jays now with Rysaia Sitzman. Into the half court, Sitzman right of the circles, gets a screen down to that right corner, jump stop, ball fake, skip pass left side, Sammy Zubrod. Middle of the lane, right corner kick out. Larissa Poland drives the right baseline to the block. Spins out, bounced it out right side, Zubrod. Top of the key, Haley Poland. Back to the right side, Zubrod. Bounce right corner, Larissa Poland. Dribbling left. Over the left side, Sitzman. Shot clock's at six. Sitzman takes a peek, spins back left. Left wing kick out, Zubrod with three, with two. Right side wing, Poland chucks up a three. It rims in and out. Nice look after the shot clock expired there by Larissa Poland. Here comes Hinton. Carlin Kovarna now to the left corner for DeRochi. Dumps it left block. Bailey Booby faces up Schrader. Steps with the right hand. Hooks it off the back side of the rim and in. Bailey Booby with 15 points. She's 7 of 8 from the field. And with 3.13 to go before halftime, the Blackhawk lead is 25. Here's a pass to Zubrod on the left wing. Just barely kept it alive after the deflection. Lob pass out top. Sits in an open three off the left side of the rim. No good. Long rebound right corner. Ends up going out of bounds off the Jays. And it'll be Hinton basketball. Grace Callen checks into the ball game, and Larissa Poland checks out for Galen. Ashlyn Kovarna back on the floor for the Blackhawks, and she's in for Keely DeRochi. Timeout on the floor. Hinton head coach Matt Leary wants to talk things over. 3.02 to go before halftime. 35-10, Blackhawks on top. We're back after this here on KLEM. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for. It always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang is such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of High V. Lamars. This is Rizaya Sitzman, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We want to be back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamars online audio at KLEM1410.com. We're also video streaming this contest on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. 35 to 10 as 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic and Fargo Conference Girls Basketball. Three minutes to go before halftime. Ashlyn Kovarna is into the half court for the Blackhawks. Left wing feed into the hands of Bailey Booby. Booby dribbles to her right to the middle of the alley. Right corner kick out. Caden Speeders a long two with her foot on the arc. Miss short in the offensive rebound. Carlin Kovarna wants to go right back up with it to the left block. Hook shot with the left hand. Too strong off the back of the rim. And the rebound pulled down by Galen Catholic. Here comes Sitzman. Left side wing in between the legs. Dribble at the top of the arc and out to the right side for Grace Kellen. Bounce pass across the key. Left side wing there for Zubrod. Drives into the alley, gets downhill, and the ball's stripped away by Bailey Booby. Got to run out the other way. Booby with hustle, left block, hesitates, goes up over the defender, and scores it high off the glass. Bailey Booby's got 17 points. She's 8 of 9 from the field. And here comes Grace Callum at 2-8 to go before halftime. Ball poked at out of bounds off of Cadence Peters. He'll stay with Galen Catholic. It's 37 to 10. Hinton dominating Galen Catholic here tonight with 2.06 to go in the first half. Jays have the basketball. Bella Schrader checking out. Nevaeh Hodson back in. Here's Zubrod on the right wing. Dribbles by the defender. Bounce it up top. And an open three from Haley Pollen is around the rim and down. 
Kaylee Poland got the look she wanted and converted on it. It's 37-13 Blackhawks, minute 50 to go in the first half. Skip pass left, Peters down to left baseline to Rochi, bounce free throw line. Burghead kicks it out, dumping it down to the right block. It's Carlin Kovarna, out right elbow. Burghead open 12-footer, too strong, and the defensive rebound pulled down by Hodson. Jays want to run it up the floor the other way. It is Haley Poland, bounced it out to Hodson, right of the circles for Sitzman. Sitzman skips it left for Hodson with a minute 25 to go in the half. Pass down to Kellen, right of the lane to the block. Runner from the baseline. It's off the side of the glass, no good. Blackhawks start the run out. Cadence Peters left of the lane to the block. Throws it over to Bea Hudson. Danced in out off the glass. Oh, board put back from Bergat is good. And once again, Hinton is all over the glass here tonight. 39-13 Blackhawks, minute five to go in the first half. Sitzman, right corner, Hudson Dumps it down to the right block. Shot is up and short from... Zubrod, but she was fouled, and two free throws coming on the foul by Cadence Peters. It's Peters second, team foul number three of the second quarter here for Hinton. And Sammy Zubrod at the line to shoot two, just a 25% free throw shooter this season. Zubrod's first, off the back side of the rim and no good. J.C. Fenders into the ball game for Galen Catholic, and Haley Poland checks out. Second free throw here for Zubrod. They're going to have a lane violation. Miss Shore, they're going to say the lane violation was against Hinton. So we're going to retry the second free throw here for Zubrod. Sammy's second try of her second shot is up and good. One for two at the line for Sammy Zubrod. And it's 39-14. Hinton leads 59 seconds to go. In the first half, Ashlyn Kovarna brings it up the floor for the 11th ranked Blackhawks. Left of the circles with it. Skips it right side, Cadence Peters. And down to the right corner, Carlin Kovarna. Lob pass back door, left block, DeRochi bounced it out. Left side wing, Ashlyn Kovarna steps back on a three and puts it in. Ashlyn Kovarna with her third long ball. 42-14, Hinton, 37 seconds to go before halftime. Sitzman down to the right block, Emerson Schmidt puts up a shot through traffic and got fouled. And two free throws are coming here for Emerson on the foul committed by Avery Burgad. That's her third. Team foul number four of the second quarter here for Hinton. So Burgad in a bit of foul trouble that will carry over into half number two. Emerson Schmidt to shoot two. And the first is up and in. 42-15. Hinton leads 33 seconds to go before halftime. Second free throw upcoming here for Emerson Schmidt. It is up and good as well. Perfect in line for Emerson Schmidt. 42-16, Hinton, here come the Blackhawks now. Carlin Kovarna, right side wing, out up top to Car Ashlyn Kovarna, but the ball's deflected in the backcourt. Grace Kellen, uncontested, layup from the left side and scores it off the glass. A nice read from Grace Kellen. It's 42-18, Hinton, 17 seconds to go in the first half. Carlin at the top, left side, Cadence Peters. To the left elbow, Bailey Booby. Back out right of the circles, Ashlyn dribbles to her left to the top of the arc. Backs it out, seven seconds to go before halftime. Ashlyn off a pick from Bailey Booby, looking in the paint. That ball's taken away by Emerson Schmidt with two, with one, and Emerson will not take a shot to end the first half. Well, nice finish to the first half for the Jays, but it is still all Hinton here in this one. Your score after 16 minutes of game action. It's the 11th ranked Blackhawks 42 and Galen Catholic 18. We'll take a break and we'll run down the first half stats for you and get you caught up on anything you may have missed. And we'll get you ready for half number two as well. 42 to 18. Hinton leads Galen Catholic. We're back with more of our halftime coverage after this here on KLEM Lamars. Hi, this is Misty Zek. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at exitrealtymidwest.com. Sue Ann Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Sue Ann Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. Sue Ann Glass! Get more because you deserve more with Kylie Petty, Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011. Wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KiliePetty.com for your real estate needs. 
A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. At Universal Windows Direct, you're not just purchasing windows. You're also getting peace of mind, knowing that their knowledgeable local staff is there for you every step of the way. You receive quality Unishield products along with a limited lifetime warranty to ensure that you're taken care of for years to come. Universal Windows Direct wishes all local athletes the best of luck. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. State Farm Agent Michael Crank is a proud supporter of local athletics. Whether you are looking for auto, home, or health insurance, Choose the agent that will be on your side. State Farm Agent Michael Crank. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546-5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546-5062. This is Nevaeh Hodson, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We walk you back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio is found at KLEM1410.com and video streaming on the KLEM radio YouTube channel. 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic here in Fuego Conference Girls Basketball by a score of 42 to 18. The Blackhawks got off to a rocking start here to the night and uh, have not looked back since and being able to uh, put themselves out in front by over 25 points for the majority of the contest. So we'll take a look at some of the numbers here in the first half and uh, get you caught up on all the things you may have missed. Starting with Gatling Catholic, the Jays go 6 of 21 from the field, 3 of 10 from the three-point arc, and just 3 of 5 from the free throw line. Leading scorer for the Jays, well, you got four of them. They each have three points apiece. It is Rizea Sitzman as well as Haley Poland, as well as Samantha Zubrod, and throwing Nevaeh Hudson in there. They each have three points in this contest. And it is two points apiece for Grace Callen, Emerson Schmidt, and Larissa Poland. For Hinton, the Blackhawks are shooting a crisp 18 of 32 from the field, four of eight from the three-point arc, and two of five from the charity stripe. Blackhawks led offensively by Bailey Booby, 17 points. She's eight of nine from the field, just cannot miss right now. Nine points for Ashlyn Kovarna, three of four from downtown. Six points apiece for Caden Peters and Carlin Kovarna, and then two points for Keely DeRochi and Avery Bergad. Well, again, the defensive effort, the... Um, Lack of uh, taking care of the basketball from Galen Catholic here in this contest has really hurt things here. And uh, it's been a uh, fun night of basketball so far, but the uh, Blackhawks uh, are doing everything right on the defensive end to make things difficult for both teams. 42 to 18, the score in favor of uh, Hinton, and uh, the Blackhawks are doing a really good job of turning their defense into offense here in this contest. And uh, really uh, a good go of it so far 
for both teams. Galen Catholic just needs to, uh, they need to go back to what has worked as far as uh, taking care of the basketball. They've been able to um, break full court presses and uh, really uh, do a nice job of taking care of the ball. They need to get back to that, and they didn't do that in the first quarter, did a little bit better in the second quarter, and were able to lock down on the defensive end as well. 42-18 to 18 the score in favor of the Hinton Blackhawks after one half of play. We will take a break and get the third quarter and second half underway from the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. You're listening to Wargo Conference Girls Basketball on KLEM. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546 7881. South Greenview Estates is a peaceful living space located across from Willow Creek Golf Course in Lamar's. Check out their 55-plus apartments. For a private showing, call 548-7424. For more details, check out their Facebook page, South Greenview Estates in Lamar's. Klein Insulation can provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540-5691. That's 540-5691. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. At Fetters Marine and RV, you are sure to find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be fifth wheel, travel trailer, and toy hauler models from Crossroads, Dutchman, and Coachman. At Fetters Marine and RV, where the road to adventure starts. For all of your commercial or residential concrete or construction needs, J-Max Construction is ready for you. At J-Max Construction, you can be sure that your project will be handled with great customer service as well as the best of class construction and concrete work. Call J-Max Construction and Concrete today at 540-0574. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling. i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of hy and Lamar's. MRK Insurance knows that teamwork is dream work. At MRK Insurance, you get a great partner for all of your insurance needs. Visit them today on Central Avenue in Lamar's for a no-obligation quote for all of your insurance needs. That's MRK Insurance in Lamar's. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your local source for Scott's lawn products, top-performing Kent feed products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed and outstanding service. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your source for everything that grows. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's. Dr. Becky DeRider. This is Coach Shucker and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We're back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Verstegg with you. One half of the books as 11th-ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic 42-18 to here in Wargo Conference Girls Basketball. Really a good start to this contest for the Blackhawks. Lock things down on the defensive end, turn it into offense, breakaway points, and uh, really uh, kind of took care of the rest from there. There wasn't a whole lot to the first half outside of Hinton's stifling pressure defense that made things really difficult for the Jays. We're ready to get the uh, second half underway. Blackhawks up by 24, and here's Larissa Poland 
for the Jays, starting with the basketball in the second half. Left elbow pass to Rizea Sitzman, tries to pack it out and does. Hudson, top of the key to Larissa Poland. Lob pass right corner. Haley Poland trying to bounce it down to Zubrod, but it gets deflected loose into the hands of the Blackhawks. Peters starts to run out up the other way to the right block, and the layup is in off glass for two for Carlin Kovarna. And a good start to the second half here for Hinton, up 44-18. to 18. Hodson left elbow pass, Sammy Zubron. Ball deflected over to Rizea Sitzman, recovers at the half-court circle. Right side wing, Larissa Poland, ball fake. Dribbling right, right elbow, Zubron, face the basket, bounce it out, Rizea Sitzman, left of the circle, shot fake, pull up the left elbow, 15-footer, too strong, fight for the rebound, and Rizea comes down with it, takes it up to the cup of the right block, left-hand runner off the right side of the rim, no good. Rebound thrown back into play, Rizea Sitzman, left-hand layup doesn't go once again. Three looks at the hoop, and none fall for the Jays. Here come the Blackhawks. Carlin Kovarna, skip pass left corner on a bounce to Peters. Back to Carlin on the right wing. Right corner to Ashlyn Kovarna. Ashlyn dribbles to her left and sets up the offense kind of nonchalantly. Skip pass Peters, left corner, Avery Burgad. Back to the left side wing, Peters dribbles right, screen. Bounced it right side, Ashlyn Kovarna. Shot clock's at eight. Free throw line, pull up jumper off the pick from Boovey. Missed short, offensive board. Boovey puts it up at the hoop and missed it off the right side of the rim. And the rebound controlled the other way by Galen Catholic. Here comes Larissa Poland, right side wing into the hands of Haley Poland. She dribbles left, middle of the lane, throws up a shot through traffic and contact, but she was fouled before the shot. As the Blackhawks tried to pinch the double team, the foul's on Carlin Kovarna. That's her second. Team foul number one to start the third quarter. And the Jays will inbound baseline right of the hoop with Rizea Sitzman. Goes into the right corner for Larissa Poland. Trying to get her free at the top of the key. Poland dumps it down to the left block. Haley Poland was left alone for an easy right hand layup for two. And it's 44-20. Hinton leads it. 6.08 to play in the third quarter. Ashlyn Kovarna, right corner feed. Cadence Peters down to the right block for Booby. Ball deflected loose. Fighting for it on the floor is Sammy Zubrod. Throws it out into the hands of Isaiah Sitzman. Jays do a good job of forcing the turnover. Here comes Sitzman, left side of the circle. Drives inside the arc with a behind-the-back dribble to get some space. Top of the key to Hodson. Left elbow for uh, Zubrod. Turnaround hook shot, missed short. Offensive put back by Haley Poland. Misses short as well. And the Blackhawks take the rebound the other way with Ashlyn Kovarna. Right corner to Peters. So reverse it, top of the key. Burgad thought about the three. Back to Ashlyn, right of the circles. Screen to her right from Booby. Step back. Kovarna didn't take the three. Now to the right corner for Peters. 5.30 to go in the third quarter. Hinton 44, Galen Catholic 20. Peters left wing. Gets an open look at a three, takes it, and swishes it in. Cadence Peters, left wing three ball. Her first three-point basket to fall. And it's 47-20. Hinton on top. 5.12 to go in the third. Hodson picked to her right from Sitzman. Ball's ripped out of her hands by Carlin Kovarna. Here come the Blackhawks with the... Man advantage the other way. Left block layup from Cadence Peters. Miss short. The offensive put back from Bailey Booby is off the glass and in. And it's 49 to 20. Hinton on top. 4.52 to play in the third. Left elbow. Sitzman to the high post. Dumps it down. Right block. Haley Poland goes up with a layup on the backdoor cut and is fouled on the shot. Two free throws for Haley Poland. I think they're going to get Cadence Peters, and they are. It's Peters' third personal. Team foul number two of the third quarter. So now. Burghead and Peters each with three fouls here in the contest. Haley Poland's first free throw banks in. And it's 49 to 21. Hinton leads 447 to play in the third quarter. And the second free throw for Poland's off the glass and in as well. Perfect at the line for Haley Poland. 49-22. Hinton on top. 443 to play in the third. Ashlyn Kovarna trails the play at the top of the key. Left corner kick out. Carlin Kovarna steps into a three and puts it in. Carlin Kovarna from the left corner. And now we've got a timeout on the floor for Brandon Shecker, the head coach of the Jays. Four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. It's all hit. 52-22 over Galen. We're back after this here on KLEM. Certified public accountants, Cruz and Cruz, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruz and Cruz Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. 
It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor of local athletics. For all of your custom awards and engraving needs, visit Plymouth Awards and Engraving at 130 4th Avenue Northeast in Lamars. You are sure to find that perfect gift for anyone at Plymouth Awards and Engraving. This is Larissa Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. Back to Hinton for tonight's Warrego Conference girls basketball matchup. 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic 52 to 22 as the Blackhawks have gotten to their largest lead of the evening. Again, using some defensive success. Here's Nevea Hodson, left corner, driving the baseline, trying to wrap it out to Sitzman, and the ball taken away by Ashlyn Kovarna. Here comes Kovarna in the half court, dumps it down to the left block, a rifling pass to Booby, who picks it up off the floor and lays it in off glass for two. 21 for Bailey Booby. 54-22, Hinton on top, 4.07 to play in quarter number three. Larissa Poland, left corner feed into Nevaeh Hodson, lobbed out up top, Zubrod drives middle of the lane, bounced it out left corner, Hodson back out up top, Larissa Poland, wide open look at a three, that one's off the right side, no good. And a rebound for the Blackhawks. Ashlyn Kovarna, left of the lane, dumps it right block, Bailey Booby ripped through with a right hand, lays it off the glass and in, 56-22, Hinton leads and 23 points for Bailey Booby. 3.39 to play in the third quarter. Here's Larissa Poland. To the left corner, kick out for Hodson, back into the lane, Zubrod drives on Booby, left block, throws up a shot, and Booby rejected her. And here comes Hinton, up by 34 with 3.25 to go in the third quarter. Ashland to Carlin Kovarna, dump pass down to the right block, Burgad takes it up with the right hand, scores it off the glass, and was foul. Avery Burgad with the basket, she'll have one more at the line on the foul committed by Sammy Zubrod. Her first team foul number one of quarter number three. The Jays will make three substitutions. Bella Schrader, Grace Kellen, and Haley Lubin into the contest. Hodson, Poland, and Zubrod check out. That'd be Larissa Poland checking out. And one free throw coming for Avery Burkhead. Blackhawks have also put themselves into running clock threshold by going up by 36. Burgads and one free throw is good. Avery Burgad gets three points the old-fashioned way. And the Blackhawk lead is 59 to 22. 321 to go in the third. Keely DeRochi and Becca Lars check into the contest for Hinton. Movie and Carlin Kovarna check out. Sitzman bounce pass free throw line. Schrader throws it left baseline. Poland, the backdoor cut to the left block. Missed the layup strong. Offensive board for Grace Kellen. Has it on the right block, trying to pivot out of a double team. And then she gets tied up for possession of the basketball. Jump ball is called. It's Hinton who's in possession of the arrow. The running clock is in effect here, but the Blackhawks up 35 or more. They're up 37 currently. 2.50 to go in the third. 59-22. Hinton on top. Left corner feed Keeley DeRochi. Bounced it back to Peters on the left wing. Trying to go back door. Finds Ashlyn Kovarn. A little floater in the lane. Missed way strong. Offensive put back from Keeley DeRochi. It's off the front of the rim and in. Eli DeRochi on the right place at the right time. It's 61-22. Hinton leads as Rizea Sitzman tries to fight through some defense of Becca Lars. And Lars fouled her. That is Lars' first personal. Team foul number three of the third quarter. And it'll be Galen inbounding with Haley Lubin. Inbound to Sitzman, lobs it back to Lubin in the left corner. Double team there, dumps it down left block. Bella Schrader with the left hand, hook shot off glass, no. Fight for the rebound toward the end line, goes out of bounds off the Jays. And it'll be Hinton basketball. 61-32, Hinton on top, or 61-22, Hinton leads. Galen Catholic with a minute 50 to go in the third quarter and counting. Emerson Schmidt into the contest for the Jays. Haley Poland goes out. Cadence Peters into the half court here for Hinton. Over to Lars on the left side wing. Lob pass left elbow. Ashlyn Kovarna left block, lost the dribble. Kick out to DeRochi, the little 16 footer. Miss short of the rebound, tracked down by Sitzman. But she's double teamed along the end line and is able to dribble it out of there. Sitzman down to the left block. Emerson Schmidt leans into the defender. Missed the hook shot short, but she was fouled. And two free throws are coming here for Emerson Schmidt. The fouls on Keely DeRochi, her second. 
Team foul number four of the third quarter. And so two free throws are coming here for Emerson Schmidt. The Jays down by 39, and the first free throws off the right side of the rim and no good. Second free throw upcoming here for Emerson Schmidt. Three of nine on the season at the line now, and make it three of ten. Second free throw strong, rebound gets kicked out of bounds off of Galen last. And it will be Hinton basketball. Just a dominant showing, all things considered, by both uh, by everybody on the floor for Hinton. Skip pass right, right corner now to Burkhead. Dribbles left, top of the key. Peters, left side wing for Lars. Bounce pass left elbow. Ashlyn Kovarna, the ball poked at by Lubin. Kick out up top, Cadence Peters drives right high post, steps back beyond the arc. Right corner feed to Burgad. Leans into a corner three, missed it strong. Offensive rebound to Rochi. Turn around hook with a right hand off the glass and in. And it's a 41 point. Hinton lead. Now Becca Lars intercepts the outlet pass over to Ashlyn Kovarna with it now. Back to Lars, skip pass left, DeRochi on the high post. Lars, right corner, Ashlyn Kovarna. Asking for some help. Dribbles down to that right corner, dumps it right block. Berg had to the free throw line for DeRochi. Bounced out Kovarna, top of the key. Becca Lars, catch and shoot, three ball, comes up short in the rebound for Bella Schrader. Jays have five seconds left in the third quarter. Grace Kellen, top of the circle. Isaiah Sitzman tries left to the lane, throws him a 15-footer through some contact, and she got fouled on it. Two free throws are coming here for Rizea Sitzman with the buzzer sounding and the quarter ending. Cadence Peters with the foul, her fourth and team's fifth. And so Rizea Sitzman will have two free throws with time expired in the third quarter. Sitzman's first free throw is off the front of the rim, no good. Still a 63-22 Hinton advantage as we get the second and final free throw of the trip. And her shot is off the front of the rim, no good as well. 0 for 2 there for Sitzman. Your score after three quarters of play, 63-22. Hinton on top, back with more high school basketball. Fourth quarter up next here on KLEM. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive-up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. This is Sammy Zurad, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We start quarter number four with 11th ranked Hinton leading Galen Catholic 63-22. Rice A.S. Sitzman, a left-hand hook shot in the lane, is rejected by the Blackhawks. Here they come quickly, right corner, Cadence Peters. Dumps it down to the right block, Bailey Movey with the right hand, scores it off the glass, and she was fouled as well. Bailey Booby, 25 points. She'll get and one at the line on the foul committed by Haley Lubin. Her first and team foul number one of the fourth quarter. Bailey Booby and one free throw upcoming. Her shot is up and in. 66-22, Hinton on top. Bailey Booby with an impressive 26 points on the night. Here comes Rizea Sitzman. A crossover dribble, gets right lane to the block, throws it off glass with the right hand, missed it strong, and the rebound for Bailey Booby. Here come the Blackhawks quickly. It's Carlin Kovarna left of the lane to the high post. Looking to back it out somewhere. Now as the ball poked loose by Haley Lubin, Kovarna recovers in the corner, out to Burghead. They reverse it up top to Ashlyn Kovarna. Right corner feed, Cadence Peters. That's a two-pointer in the right corner, and it's up and good. 68-22, Hinton leads it on the long two by Cadence Peters. Rizea Sitzman, step back, top of the arc, three ball is nothing but net. Rizea Sitzman 
Gets her first points of the second half. She's got six, 68-25 Hinton, seven minutes to go in regulation. Bergad in the left corner, out to the point. Carlin Kovarna spins middle of the lane to the left block, and she traveled. Slid the pivot foot while gathering the basketball, and it's Galen Catholic taking possession. And the Jays are going to make a full line change here, it looks like. Haley Poland, Larissa Poland, Sammy Zubrod, Nevea Hodson, and J.C. Fender into the contest for the Jays. Hinton made a couple of substitutions as well. DeRochi and Lars back into the contest. Poland pounced top of the key. Hodson trying to go back door to J.C. Fender, right block. Throws it off the back of the rim, no good. Offensive board, Zubrod, one dribble, puts it back up, and she's fouled. And two free throws coming for Sammy Zubrod. The foul committed by Keely DeRochi. It's DeRochi's third. It's team foul number one of the fourth quarter for Hinton, and now Sammy Zubrod will shoot two. It's been to the line once already. One for two at the free throw line is Zubrod, and her first is off the right side of the rim. No good. 68-25, 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic here in Oregon Conference Girls Basketball. Second free throw for Zubrod. It's off the front of the rim, no good, and Burghead pulls down the defensive rebound. Here come the Blackhawks now with Carlin Kovarna, right side wing. Steps back, goes up top. Avery Burghead looks to her left and finds Dorochi. Top of the key, Carlin Kovarna, right side wing now. Burghead skips it top. Lars, left corner, Carlin Kovarna drives the left baseline, gets to the block, step through with the right hand, puts the shot up, no, but she's fouled. And two free throws coming for Carlin Kovarna. Fouls on Sammy Zubrod, her second. Team foul number two of the fourth quarter as well. 5.48 to play in regulation, 68-25, Hinton leads. Carlin Kovarna's first free throw of the trip is up and in. Really done a good job of improving her free throw shooting as the season go goes along. She's got 12. Three Blackhawks right now in double figures. Second free throw for Carlin Kovarna is up and good as well. It is 70 to 25. Hinton leads Galen Catholic. Just a very impressive showing here by the Blackhawks. They're going to bring in Addison Kovarna as well as Mackenzie Pierce into the contest for Hinton. Right side, Larissa Poland bounces up top to Nevea Hodson. 5.35 to go. Pass down to the left high post. Taken away by DeRochi. Here come the Blackhawks quickly. Left side of the alley. Burghead to the high post. Out up top, Pierce. Right side to Lars. Becca Lars skips it left. Addison Kovarna. Left corner. Driving the left baseline. DeRochi gets to the left block. Left hand layup. Missed strong. Offensive put back. Burghead missed it off the back side of the rim. No good. And the rebound tapped out of bounds by DeRochi. And it will be Galen basketball. 70 to 25, 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic. Five minutes to go in regulation. Here's Larissa Poland on the left side wing. Dribbles uh, around the perimeter, waiting for something to develop in the offensive set. Haley Poland, pick and roll down to the right block for Zubrod, who lays it in off the glass for two. That's a great pick and roll executed well by the Jays. 70 to 27, Hinton, 442 to play in regulation. Blackhawks go up top. Burghead faces the basket, drives left high post. Kick out to the Rochi. Middle of the lane to the right block. Scoop shot, missed short. And she was fouled in the act of shooting. Two free throws coming for DeRochi. Fouls on Haley Poland. Poland second, team foul number three of the fourth quarter. Two free throws coming for Keeley DeRochi. The first is short. DeRochi with six points off the bench. Creighton Stussy out of the contest here for Hinton. As Avery Burgad goes to the bench. Second free throw is good for DeRochi. One of two at the line for Keeley DeRochi. 71-27. Hinton leads it 425 to play in regulation. Right elbow, Zubrod looking back door. Face the basket. Bounced it out to Poland. Right side of the lane with her drive to the right block. Splits a double team. Throws it high off the glass and in for two. A nice finish there for Larissa Poland, 71-29. Hinton, 4.08 to play. Down to the left block. DeRochi, turn around the left hand, hook, miss short. And the rebound tracked down by the Jays. Here comes Galen with Poland in the half court, top of the key. Stops left of the circles, now bounced it back to the right side for Zubrod, right elbow. 
Top of the key to Hodson, back down to Zubrod, left block, works in on Stussy, and the ball is ripped loose. Into the hands of Mackenzie Pierce, and the Blackhawks take it back with Becca Lawrence. 3.40 to play. Bounce pass right baseline to Rochi. 10-foot pull-up is up and good. 73-29, Hinton leads. We're going to get a timeout for substitutions. Timeout for a substitution here for Hinton. 73-29, Blackhawks. 3.32 to play in regulation. The Blackhawks use that timeout to bring in Megan Leary. Now here's Larissa Poland, right side lane to the block, all the way to the cup, and Leary rejected layup. Addison Kovarna pulls down the rebound, and the Blackhawks take it back. 73-29, Hinton, 3.15 to play in regulation. Skip pass right side, Addison Kovarna for three off the front of the rim. Emerson Schmidt pulls down the defensive rebound, and the Jays take it up with Rizea Sitzman. Behind the back dribble at the top of the key. Back to her left hand and out to the left wing for Haley Poland. Screen to her right, back to Sitzman, left side wing, jabs left, goes right, step back at the top of the arc and bounce it over to Bella Schrader. Lob pass back to Sitzman, left baseline, recovers in the left corner, tried to throw it back in play, but she stepped out of bounds. And Lee Hinton basketball. Blackhawks, or Jays, excuse me, checking a couple of substitutions. It'll be Grace Callen, Haley Lubin into the contest. Here for Galen. 73-29, 11th ranked Hinton leads Galen Catholic. 2.25 to play in regulation. So the Blackhawks pick up another win. They're ninth in a row. Left corner, here's Stussy. Creighton Stussy up top for Pierce. Right side of the circles, Addison Kovarna. Skip pass left corner, long two from Stussy's up and good. Creighton Stussy puts Hinton up 75-29. It's the highest scoring point total this season here for Hinton. Sitzman, left wing, ball poked at by Lars, spinning out of it, Sitzman at the free throw line. Out up top to Lubin. Minute 53 to play, Grace Kellen, left wing, dumps it left block, Bella Schrader backs down a defender. Stussy trying to cut her off, out to the left side for Kellen. Top of the key, Sitzman. Dribbles left to the lane to the block, gets by on Lars, left hand floater off the back of the rim, no good, but she was fouled. And two free throws coming for Rizea Sitzman. Fouls on Becca Lars, her second. It's team foul number two of the fourth quarter as well. And Sitzman's got a couple of free throws. See if the Jays can get it to 30. First free throw for Sitzman off the front of the rim. Glass and good. 75 to 30 in favor of Hinton. And a second free throw for Sitzman upcoming. Peyton back checks into the contest for the Blackhawks. Free throw by Sitzman's good. Perfect trip to the line for Rizea Sitzman. And it's 75-31. Hinton leads him at a 35 to play in regulation. Left side wingers, Creighton Stussy. Down to the paint. Lob pass taken away on the backside by Rizea Sitzman. Here she comes with a full head of steam. Left of the lane to the block. Fade away shot off glass is good. And Rizea Sitzman gets to double figure. She's got 10. It's 75-33. Hinton, minute 15 to go in the game. Stussy, the left wing. Lobs it back right side. It is tracked down by Beck. Drives inside the arc. And oh, a three-point shot is short from Beck. Rebound out of bounds off the Blackhawks. It's Galen basketball. J.C. Fender checks in. Rizea Sitzman checks out. 75-33, Hinton on top, 52 seconds left to go in the game. Grace Kellen, right of the circles, has it at the point, bounces free throw line, Bella Schrader, kick out pass left corner, Emerson Schmidt, drives right, kick out pass is deflected in the backcourt by Addison Kovarna, loose ball goes out of bounds off the Jays, it'll be Hinton basketball, and the shot clock will turn off, so Hinton does not need to take a shot here to finish this game. They might, though. Here's Creighton Stussy, right corner, out up top for Megan Leary. Left side wing, long two-pointer, comes up short from Stussy, O-board from Addison Kovarna. Under the basket, Stussy, right-hand hook, missed short. Rebound tracked down by Galen. Here come the Jays with 10 seconds to go. Haley Lubin gets right lane to the block, all the way to the cup of the right hand, scores it. 75-35, Hinton leads it. As the Blackhawks bring it up with Beck, they won't take a final shot. Your score... When things are all said and done, 11th ranked Hinton, 75, Galen Catholic, 
35. The Blackhawks have won their ninth game in a row. They improved to 16-2 on the air. Meanwhile, Galen Catholic drops to 2 and 17. We'll take a break. We'll have our post-game coverage. We will uh, get you the stats from this contest, and we will also try and have a post-game chat with the head coach of Galen Catholic girls basketball, Coach Brandon Checker, coming up in our post-game coverage. Again, the final, 11th ranked Hinton 75, Galen Catholic 35. We are back with our post-game coverage after this. You're listening to High School Basketball on KLEM Lamars. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamars in Akron. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State! Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for. It always looks my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I uh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of High V Lamar. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to cnos.net to learn more. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamar's supports our local student athletes, trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC, located at 38 First Avenue, Northwest Lamar's, Iowa. This is Emerson Schmidt, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back to our post-game coverage here tonight as 11th-ranked Hinton defeats Galen Catholic in girls' basketball action by the final score 
of 75 to 35. Hinton now nine games in a row they have won, improving to 16 and two on the season with just two games left to play. Galen Catholic drops to two and 17 with the loss. They've got two more games on their schedule as well. This is our post-game coverage as the uh, Blackhawks win it by 40 over Galen Catholic here tonight and uh, dominate things start to finish. It was a really well-played game of the Blackhawks start to finish. Defense turned into offense pretty effortlessly throughout the entirety of the night and allowed the Blackhawks to win their ninth game in a row and now are 16-2 and two on the season. Coming up on our post-game coverage, we'll be uh, hoping to chat with Galen Catholic Head girls basketball coach Brandon Shecker. Get his thoughts on the contest here tonight. And uh, coming up at halftime of the boys game, we'll try and track down Matt Leary, the head coach of the Hinton girls, and get his thoughts on how his team played this evening as well. Got the final score, Hinton 75, Galen Catholic 35. Let's take a look at the scoring numbers anyway to try and highlight how that Ended up happening here tonight. First for Galen Catholic. Jays go 12 of 40 from the field. And go 4 of 12 from the three-point arc. And then go 7 of 15 from the free throw line. Leading scorer for the Jays was Rizea Sitzman. How about seven points for Haley Poland? It was five points for Sammy Zubrod. Four points for Larissa Poland. Three points for Nevaeh Hodson. And then it was two points each for Grace Callen, Haley Lubin, and Emerson Schmidt. Meanwhile, for Hinton, the Blackhawks go 31 of 59 from the field, 6 of 14 from the three-point arc, and 7 of 11 from the charity stripe. Three Blackhawks scored in double figures. Bailey Booby had 26 points. By my count, I've got her as 12 of 14 from the field, 1 of 2 from the free throw line. One for one from downtown as well. That's not too shabby. 13 points here for Carlin Kovarna tonight. It was 12 points for Cadence Peters, then nine points for Ashlyn Kovarna. Nine points as well for Keely DeRochi off the bench. Then five points for Avery Bergad, and two points thrown in there for Creighton Stussy in a bit of garbage time action. Again, just a, a really well-played game by Hinton all throughout the night. Defense turning to offense and uh, really... Just transition the basketball so well. When you can do that as a team that likes to run up and down the floor and a team that, you know, likes to uh, take advantage of your athleticism, my goodness, you are going to be a really well-oiled machine come tournament time. And the Blackhawks are playing some of their best basketball here of the season. That's 75 points they scored here tonight, the most they've scored in a game this season. They put up 73 against Woodbury Central. Back on December 19th, they've hit 70 a couple of times at North with 72 and home against South O'Brien with 72. But 75 is a new season high for the Blackhawks and a 75-35 drubbing. Yeah, Hinton's looking pretty good heading into tournament time. By the way, if you are interested in those regional brackets when they do come out, of course, we will relay the, to the them to you via many different mediums, but uh, they will be ready to go coming up on Wednesday from the Iowa Girls High School Athletic uh, Union. Not sure if that's going to be a morning thing or an afternoon thing, but uh, if you stay posted on the IGHSAU.org website, you should have those uh, pairings sooner rather than later, hopefully, uh, for both Galen and for Hinton. And, of course, for the majority of our area girls basketball teams, Lamar's community will not have their regional pairings until next week. And the final score, 11th-ranked Hinton, 75, Galen Catholic, 35. We'll take a break. We're also hoping to be joined by the head coach of the Galen Catholic girls basketball team, Coach Brandon Shecker, coming up in our post-game coverage here tonight. Again, the score, 75-35, Galen Catholic falls here to Hinton tonight. We'll take a break and back with more of our post-game coverage after this here on KLEM. Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products. And they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. 
It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. This is Haley Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We want to be back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Our post-game coverage continues. Jays fall 75-35 to Hinton. We're joined by the head coach of Galen Girls Basketball. It's Coach Brandon Shecker. And, uh, coach, uh, it was kind of a, a tough start when you're going up against a team that presses like this. You kind of have to be on your A game right away, and uh, otherwise they're going to make you pay like they did uh, to start the game. And you're saying we weren't? <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, we, we got off to a rough start. You know, the, the press hasn't been bothering us very much uh, the second half of the season here. And for some reason, it bothered us a lot tonight. Uh, we weren't going to the pass. Uh, we were actually bounce passing, which I was right. happy with, but it was just kind of weak. We know that these guys are long. Um, and when you're doing that, you really got to put a little mustard on that uh, on those passes and you got to come to it. And we weren't doing a very good job of that. And then we weren't attacking. Um, the few times that we did beat it, we kind of got across half court and we kind of held up a little bit. Um, again, I think their their length kind of gets into our head a little bit. And unfortunately, that was uh, the start of the game and kind of how the game finished. Yeah, um, but you know, when you, when you guys were attacking, I loved what I saw, whether it was backdoor cuts or aggressive takes to the hole. I mean, you guys, when you, when you put your mind to it, can, can get some really good looks offensively. Yeah, and, and we're talking people like Haley Poland, who yeah. is not tall. <laughs> you know, she makes some great backdoor cuts, and, and so do some others. The problem is, is we seem to do it once every eight or nine possessions, and that's not enough. And I don't know why we can't just repeat those good things. Um, and that's been something that we've been harping on the, the last couple of practices and the last, the last week or so is, Ladies, find those things that we do well and just repeat them. If it worked once, it will work again. And for some reason, we get into our head that, hey, it, you know, we'll, we'll cut back door, we'll make the pass, but we won't get the shot off. Or we'll miss the shot. So, oh, it didn't work. No, it, it did work, yeah. and we can keep doing it. And it's just a, a little mind blockage that's holding us back. Um, who, who impressed you? Obviously, Haley Poland offensively uh, looked really good in, in getting to the hoop. Um, how about like a, a Sammy Zubrod? I know maybe confidence is waning for her down there, but when, when she can get rolling, when she has to body up against a post player, uh, she can be really tough down there. And I think that's the key for her. She needs to go up to somebody that pushes back on her. When nobody's pushing against her, she kind of lays off. But, you know, tonight they were pushing on her a little bit, so she'll push back. And... You know, she's been rebounding the ball extremely well for us the last uh, couple weeks. Um, it, it's finally good to see her get a few points, offensive buckets. And, you know, it worked on the screen and roll. It worked on her just taking it once she gets it in about the free throw line and taking it in. It worked a couple times there, too. So hopefully that will build a little confidence in what she's been doing, add to her rebounding some points, and that would that would help out. Absolutely. Um, you, you mentioned the length that, Hinton has when it can run six foot five eleven at least the majority of their starting lineup. Um, how, how tough is it to go up against a team like that when when the size comparison doesn't really match up in your favor? Fifteen minutes down the road, and they have size and we don't. What is that? I, I don't. I don't <laughs> understand it's that. Some, something in the water up here. I guess. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, I swear they come from Orange City up in that area where they grow six footer pluses and they just kind of <laughs> bypass Lamar's and jump down here to Hinton. Yeah, being from Orange City, we have a bunch of those six footers <laughs> up there. The, the, the size does bother us. And, yeah. and not only the size, but I mean, they, they have long arms. There's length there um, and, and it, it gets into our head a little bit. And again, it, it shouldn't because you can see we can still do the back doors on them and stuff along that line. So it's just about offsetting it with some, some smartness. and. I think sometimes, you know, Hinton not take away anything from them, but they utilize their size. They're smart about their size. And sometimes when they're playing teams like us, there are holes in their defense. We're just not finding them yeah. on a regular basis. And, and that's one of the things that we need to get through to the girls, that there are those holes. Go ahead and find them. Once you find them, continue to do it. So 
Yeah, uh, the upside is you got a couple of games here on your schedule that can hopefully give you some confidence heading into tournament time, MMCRU West Sioux. Um, now you've got a little bit of an extended break leading into uh, both games uh, with this being played on a Monday. What, what do you still need to see from the girls so that they are, like you've talked about in years past, playing their best basketball and hopefully peaking at this time of the season? The one thing, and we just actually talked about that for after the game, and the one thing that we need to find is that aggressiveness on defense. You, you saw it here tonight. Saw it. You heard it here tonight from Daniel. <laughs> um, but tonight you saw that we kind of backed off, and I, and I looked at the girls and I'm like, ladies, nobody in this gym thinks you're going to win this ball game. Mm -hmm. We went into halftime down 20. Let's come out and be an aggressive and, and, and on defensive end, let's get after it. And we still didn't. Yeah. You know, we still laid off. And that's the thing that we got to find. There's two winnable games to finish out our season. And then who knows, once you get into to playoff basketball, if we can get aggressive on defense, then who knows what happens. And then that can spur offense. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're sputtering a little bit offensively. You know, I can't even say that. I mean, we started out offensively pretty well against right. St. Mary's the other day. Um, Hinton not that long ago, we were down, what, a couple points at halftime and, yep. and had 27 at halftime, you know. So it's not like you were even sputtering all that much on offense, but when you're giving up that many points and, you know, defensive-minded, if we just come out a little bit more aggressive, it's also going to help us out offensively. So it's a, it's a double whammy against us right now, mm -hmm. and it could be a, a good whammy both ways for us moving forward. So somehow we got to get these girls just kind of out, yep. be aggressive, and See where the see where the score lies at the end of the game. As long as the uh, slipper fits throughout the season, you're uh, you're going to be in for a nice long postseason run. Absolutely. So hopefully, uh, hopefully some confidence leading into that with the next couple of games. Coach, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, we'll talk Friday. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Brandon Checker, head coach of Gatlin Catholic Girls Basketball, joining us on our post game coverage here tonight from Hinton. The final score: Blackhawks 75, Gatlin Catholic 35. We'll take a break. Come back and get the boys contest started after this. From the Hinton High School gym in Hinton, you're listening to War Eagle Conference Basketball on KLEM Lamars. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. When it comes to service, your Lamar's Hy-Vee is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Hi sports fans, this is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar's. We're happy to have a huge selection of what you need to efficiently maintain your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar's. This is Aiden Langle and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. And we about to be back as we switch gears to pregame coverage of how our boys basketball matchup for you tonight. The Galen Catholic boys and the Hinton boys square off for the second time in the 2023-2024 season. Daniel Versteg with you as we welcome you back into our pregame coverage. The uh, two squads that are about to face off have done an outstanding job 
of uh, their their seasons, really. Hinton has uh, turned things on here late. They've won three games in a row, four of their last five. Galen Catholic started off strong. They've kind of sputtered here, but they've played some very tough teams, including Western, South O'Brien, George Little Rock, and Remsen St. Mary's. Galen's squad is just looking to pick up a win like they did against Hinton earlier on in the year. It was a 62-43 to victory for the Jays in uh, this matchup earlier in the season. A couple of teams who, yeah, the records are just a little bit different, but uh, albeit these are two very evenly matched squads and uh, a couple of teams that are going to play a really strong game of basketball here tonight. I'm looking for Galen Catholic to hopefully bounce back. Uh, four of their last five have been in the loss column, and they need they could use one uh, here. They have been kind of uh, letting these losses get to them as of late, and hopefully they can uh, turn things around. They are starting to get healthier. See Carson Arns is warming up. That's always a good sight to see. He has been dealing with a leg injury here throughout the, uh, the last few games of the season. And uh, Jays can be healthy and uh, healthy in a, a number of different ways. They'll be in a good spot here the rest of the way. Meanwhile, Hinton's just continuing to build confidence. They beat Akron Westfield by three. That snapped the Westerners' nine-game winning streak. They beat uh, George Little Rock by 17. That was a dominant showing over the Mustangs. And uh, it's all coming after a loss to Sergeant Bluff Luton, a loss to Kingsley Pearson River Valley, in which they were able to come back in that one, but uh, could not come away with the victory. A couple of teams very well matched up against one another. Some very strong uh, skill sets that complement each other, really. And I'm looking for, uh, for a really fun basketball game here tonight as Galen Catholic takes on the Hinton Blackhawks and Warrigal Conference Boys Basketball. We'll take a break. We'll get you your starting lineups when we come back to the Hinton High School Gym. You're listening to High School Basketball on KLEM Radio. Hi, this is Misty Zek. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at ExitRealtyMidwest.com. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of Hy-Vee and Lamar's. Sue Ann Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Sue Ann Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. Sue Ann Glass! Get more because you deserve more with Kylie Petty, Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011. Wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KiliePetty.com for your real estate needs. This is Coach Wilchin, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We will be back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton for tonight's Warrior Conference Boys Basketball matchup right here on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and a video stream that can be found on the KLEM radio YouTube channel. Your score uh, in the girls' contest, 75-35 in favor of Hinton. Now getting ready for the boys' contest. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for this matchup as uh, two teams who are very evenly matched are ready to go at it. First for Galen Catholic, a 7-10 record, 4-4 four and four in the War Eagle Conference under first-year head coach Ryan Wilchin. Starting lineup, a 6 foot nothing senior. That's Trevor Teal. 5'5", five five sophomore guard is Dylan Lubin. The six foot one senior forward is Jackson Kramer. Six foot three senior forward is Gabe Wilchin. And around at the lineup, he's back at the lineup, folks. The six foot five sophomore forward is Carson Arns. And Ryan Wilchin, head coach of the Jays, assisted by Eric Kellen, as well as Alec Langle. Now for Hinton, the record is 10 and 7, 6 and 3 in the Warrior Conference. Under ninth year head coach John Spees. Five foot ten junior guard is Caden Barrett. Really stuffed the stat sheet against Hartley Melvin Sanborn on Friday. Five foot ten sophomore guard is Will Hagstrom. Six foot nothing sophomore guard is Carver DeGroat. The six foot four sophomore forward top scorer 
on the season for the Blackhawks is Logan to camp him up and around the lineup a six foot four junior forward is Kyle Leary. John Spees, head coach of Hinton Boys Basketball is assisted by Greg Connery, Nolan Hazy, Stephen Husk, as well as Corey Kempema. Ready to get this one underway. The Blackhawks and the Jays should be a fun matchup here tonight. It was a fun matchup earlier on in the, the season, earlier on this month. And we are ready to bring it to you right here on KLEM Radio with online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. The opening tip is controlled by the Blackhawks. And Logan Kempema enters it into the half court. Right side wing steps back in the right corner and skips a pass left side. Touch pass left corner for Will Hagstrom. He dribbles to his right to the left elbow. Kicks it out. Kempema right wing contested three ball. Nothing but net. Logan Kempema gets the Blackhawks started off right. It's a 3-0 Blackhawk advantage. Here comes Dylan Lubin. Left side wing into the hands of Noel, uh, Trevor Teal. Right side Kramer. Right corner to Dylan Lubin. He dribbles to his left to the top of the arc. Free throw line. Kick out pass Gabe Wilchin. Left wing. Got Kempema jumping for joy on the shot fake. Drives left to the lane and he's fouled on the floor. And the foul. It's going to go against Kempema. So Logan Kempema picks up his first. Team foul number one of the first quarter. And the Jays will have the inbound. Baseline left of the hoop with Trevor Teal. Left corner quickly. Carson Ahrens throws up a three. Missed it short. And the rebound controlled by Carver to Grove. Here come the Blackhawks now. Left block down to Kyle Leary. He works into Ahrens. Tries to pivot out and does to the left wing for Kempema. Kempema back to the left corner for DeGroat. Skip pass right. Caden Barrett back to the right side. Right corner Kempema. Guarded by Wilson, down to the right block. Barrett kind of the basket, fade away, eight footer, right baseline, it settles short off the rim and the rebound tracked down by Arns. That was a really good shot by Barrett while falling away from the hoop. Here's Dylan Lubin at the top of the key, right side wing for Trevor Teal. Takes the right baseline, gets an opening to the right block, pulls up a shot from eight feet and missed it short. It was deflected and here comes Kempema, left side corner, three ball from Barrett in transition, spins around and out and the rebound is fought for and won by the Blackhawks. It's gonna stay with Hinton as that ball ended up going out of bounds off Gabe Wilchin last. Logan Kempema will inbound baseline left of the hoop for the Blackhawks. He looks in the left corner for Caden Barrett. And Barrett throws it through the hands of Kempema who settles it top of the key. Logan Kempema screen to his right off the dribble, dumps it free throw line. Kyle Leary goes to work, right side wing, a handoff for Hagstrom who spins right of the lane to the block, gets all the way to the cup of the right hand, he scores it off the glass it in. And it's a 15 to nothing Blackhawk start to the night as Will Hagstrom gets the layup. Here's Dylan Lubin now for the Jays, skipping it right side. Jackson Kramer comes up with the basketball. Up top of the arc, it's Lubin. Back to the right side, Trevor Teal skips it left of the circles. Arns back right side, Wilchin head fakes a three. Now he puts it up and he missed it strong, long rebound. Out top is pulled down by Hagstrom. Here come the Blackhawks now. Hagstrom trailing the play as Barrett tries right lane, leans into Kramer and a foul on the floor goes against Jackson Kramer. It's Kramer's first, team foul number one of the first quarter. And the Blackhawks will inbound baseline right of the hoop with Logan Kempema. They lob it up for Leary. Leary didn't cut. Barrett goes to flag down the basketball. Handed off to Kempema. Left side lane to the block, and Kramer picked his pocket. It's a one-on-one -on -one with Barrett the other way. Kramer, right hand layup, missed short, and the rebound tapped out of bounds. Off the Blackhawks, it'll stay with Galen Catholic. It stays with the Jays. They're still trying to get their first points of the night. 5.31 to go in the first. Five nothing, Hinton advantage. Baseline left, go to the high post, left wing for Arns. Top of the key to Lubin, good crossover dribble, right elbow, pull up 15 footer, that's too strong, and the rebound deflected into the hands of Hinton. Barrett up the floor, right side wing for Logan Kempema, down to the right corner, sets his feet, out to Hagstrom, skips it around the perimeter, left corner, four to grow. Ball stripped out of his hands by Jackson Kramer. Kramer's got an uncontested layup the other way with a right hand, then he's fouled from behind, missing the layup strong, and two free throws coming for Jackson Kramer. The foul is on Carver to Grove. That's his first. Team foul number two of the first quarter. And two free throws are coming here for Jackson Kramer with 5.09 to play in quarter number one. First free throw for Kramer is in and out. Jay's still scoreless here to start the contest. 5-0 Blackhawk lead, 5.09 to play in the first. 
Will Hagstrom into the bench. Dawson Spees checks in. Second free throw for Kramer. Is too strong. Rebound is loose on the floor and picked up by Caden Barrett. Still nothing on the board for the Jays. Here comes Hinton with Kempema. Left of the circles. Fakes the dribble handoff. Goes left baseline against Wilchin. Reverse layup with the left hand off the glass and in. Logan Kempema's got five. It's a 7 nothing start to the evening here for the Blackhawks. 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Dylan Lubin trying to get free of Dawson. Spees on the right wing. They dump it down to Wilchin. Ball deflects back out to Lubin. He settles up top. Trevor Teal, left side wing for Kramer. Dumps it down to the left. Block for Arn to the ball's through his hand. And Hinton takes it the other way. Turnover by the Black Ho or the Jays. Here they go right corner. Barrett down to the right block. Larry backs into Arn. Spins toward the end line. Ball's rejected out to the right corner. And it will be Hinton basketball still. Jays will make three changes. Landon Ryder. Nolan Teal, Dane Lehman, and Aiden Langle, the junior, are in, leaving just Gabe Wilson on the floor for Galen. Kyle Leary checked out, Cole Friesen in for the Blackhawks. Inbound to the point for Spees, works the middle of the alley, out to the left side of the circle for Friesen. Top of the key, Barrett, left side wing, driving in is DeGroat, out right side, Kemba, middle of the lane, goes up with the right hand layup, off the glass and missed it short. Might have been deflected by Wilson. here come the Jays now. Nolan Teal, right of the circles, to the right corner. Wilson faces the basket, gets a good pick from Dane Lehman. Pick and roll opportunity to go down to Lehman. Right block, backs in with a right hand, throws it too high off the glass. Tie up for the rebound, results in a jump ball. And the possession stays with Galen Catholic. 7-0 Hinton advantage, 3.58 to go in the first quarter. And the Jays still looking for those first points of the ninth. Inbound will come from Langle, the junior. He goes left side wing for Nolan Teal. Screen to his right from Lehman. Teal gets middle of the lane, loses the ball going up with it, and Hinton comes up with a takeaway. Dawson speeds in transition. Right corner feed for Friesen. Back out. They reverse court, left corner into the hands of DeGroat. Excuse me, for Coffee. Logan Coffee with it. Top of the key, Friesen. Back to the right side, Spees. Right corner, Hagstrom. Just reversing the perimeter. Leary, handoff, Coffee, middle of the lane. Shot fake from 10. Now he pulls up from 10 and banks it home. Logan Coffee puts the Blackhawks up 9 to nothing. 3.25 to go in the first quarter. Jays just cannot get on the board here. Landon Ryder, right wing for Aiden Langle, the junior. Screen to his left from Lehman. And an offensive foul against Lehman. They get him for an illegal screen, and the Blackhawks will get it back. Lehman picks up his first. Team foul number two of the first quarter here for Galen Catholic. Blackhawks still up 9-0, 3.15 to go in the first quarter. Here comes Hinton now. Spees, half-court circle. Dribbles to his left, gives it off for Hagstrom. Dumps it left block. Turnaround shot from Friesen. Misses strong. Fight for the rebound. Results in a foul. And I think it's going against the Jays. It is. Going against Nolan Teal, that's his first. Team's third of the quarter. Still five minutes without a basket or any points here for Kalen Catholic. Spees, left corner, out to the left wing for Coffee. Back to the left corner, Spees, a shot fake, dumps it into the paint. Leary turns around his defender with the right hand, lays it up and in. It's 11-0 Hinton. Off to a really good start, 2.50 to go in the first quarter. Landon Ryder, left of the circles for Nolan Teal. Top of the arc, right side wing for Gabe Wilson. Dribbles to his right, trying to size up his defender. Free throw line feed, Ryder, shot fake of the right elbow. Middle of the lane, kick out pass right wing. Aiden Langle, the junior, drives the right baseline. Out up top, Ryder contested three ball off the front of the rim. Rebound controlled by Leary. And Hinton takes it back, up 11-0, 2.30 to go in the first quarter. Here comes Spees, right side wing now for Friesen. Guarded by Wilson, right corner in the hands of Hagstrom. Up top. Leary goes left side wing now for Coffee. Back to Leary, top of the arc, guarded by Lehman. 2.12 to go in the first. Coffee, spin move, back to the left side for Spees. Screen to his right to the free throw line. Out right corner now for Friesen. Reversing back left side. Coffee, good head fake, drives free throw line. Out up top, Spees, an open look at a three. That's tailing left, no good. Offensive board, ball didn't hit the rim. Shot clock doesn't reset. Put back is too strong, but another O board for Cole Friesen. It was Hangstrom who had the offensive rebound, and the Blackhawks on the second put back. We're able to get it off the rim and reset the shot clock. Minute 45 to go in the first. It's 11-0 Hinton. Bounce pass middle of the lane. Spees turn around a hook shot with the right hand from eight feet. Misses everything short. Wilson with the defensive rebound. Can the Jays score? Wilson trying to find Ryder. Cutting back door. Ball's loose. Ryder gets 
dinged up on the play. And now here come the Blackhawks. Left of the lane, Coffey reversing right corner into the hands of Hagstrom. Drives right elbow. 15-foot pull-up is good. It's 13-0 Hinton. And uh, Ryder is still grabbing at his head after hitting the leg of a Blackhawk defender. They're not going to call a timeout here, though. They're going to let Landon Ryder get off the floor after the play. So Galen makes the substitutions with a minute 20 to go in the first. And Trevor Teal's back into the contest. Landon Ryder's just got to shake that one off. He dove for the loose ball and kind of had his head end up hitting the shin bone of the Blackhawk defender, and that is... Not fun. After the stoppage of play, Trevor Teal works right of the lane, dumps it out of the basket. Carson Arns left block, couldn't hang on to the basketball. And Hinton will have it. 13 0 Blackhawks, minutes ago in the first quarter. Top of the circle at Spees, right side corner. Shot fake from Coffee. Now they go down the right block. Inside out three, right corner. Coffee missed it short. Long rebound, right side wing. Leary couldn't control it. And the Jays get the ball back. Quickly up the floor with Nolan Teal, right of the lane to the block. Lays it strong, and he's fouled. Two free throws for Nolan Teal, and then after the play, he gets landed on by the Blackhawk defender. Two free throws are coming for Nolan Teal. He appears to be okay. The foul is on Logan Coffey. It's his first, team's third of the quarter. Two free throws coming for Nolan Teal with 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's 13-0 Blackhawks. Nolan Teal's first free throw is up and good, and the Blackhawks, or the Jays, excuse me, are finally on the board, 13 to one. Hinton leads 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second free throw up coming here for Nolan Teal. With the Jays finally getting on the board. The shot by Teal is up and strong, and the rebound controlled by Will Hagstrom. And here comes Hinton. Oh, a 50-foot pass from Kempema to the right block. Barrett missed the layup short, and the rebound gets tapped out. Carson Arns comes up with it, and Galen will keep possession. Shot clock and game clock are about a second off as Lubin goes right side for Nolan Teal. Right side lane to the block. Arns shields off. Bounce pass left block. Dane Lehman scores it off the glass. 13-3, Hinton leads. Here come the Blackhawks. Barrett, traveling violation in transition. Could not keep possession of the basketball cleanly, and Galen will get it back with 19 seconds to go in the quarter. 13-3 in favor of Hinton. Galen Catholic trying to cut into this deficit after not scoring for the first seven minutes and 15 seconds of the contest. Here's Trevor Teal, left of the circles. Handoff for Dylan Lubin. Dribbling to his right to the half-court circle. Right side wing for Nolan Teal. Takes it right baseline to the block. Throws it to the cutting. Trevor Teal and throws it out of bounds through his hands. And it's Hinton basketball. With six seconds to go in the first quarter, it is 13-3. Blackhawks on top. And both teams making some substitutions for this final six-second stretch of the first quarter. Blackhawks get into Dawson's speed. They bring it up the floor quickly. Right side wing, a three ball from Coffey with the buzzer going off. Misses strong. And your score after one quarter, Hinton 13, Galen Catholic 3. We'll take a break and get the second quarter underway after this. From Hinton, you're on KLEM. At Universal Windows Direct, you're not just purchasing windows, you're also getting peace of mind knowing that their knowledgeable local staff is there for you every step of the way. You receive quality Unishield products along with a limited lifetime warranty to ensure that you're taken care of for years to come. Universal Windows Direct wishes all local athletes the best of luck. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. This is Carson Arns, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEN. We welcome you back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you as we start quarter number two. 
The Blackhawks lead the Jays 13 to three in Wargo Conference boys basketball. Hinton with it, right corner for Logan Kempema. He goes up top for Dawson Speeds. 10 point Blackhawk lead to start the second. Driving the left baseline of the block. Going up with a shot is Carver to Grove. And he lays it off the glass and in. Nice drive down the end line there from DeGroat. 15-3, Blackhawks on top. And here's Wilson bouncing it back to Trevor Teal on the left baseline. Throws it out to Gabe at the top of the arc. Open three-pointers, in and out. And the rebound deflects Carson Arns. Left block, he lays it off the glass and in. Just a very fortunate bounce there for Galen's rebound. And now Hinton takes it up the four with Spees. 15-5, Blackhawks on top. Hinton trying to make it four games in a row that they have won. Behind the back dribble, Kemp of Mui got an offensive screen, or an illegal offensive screen going up against Kyle Leary. It's Leary's first team foul, number one of the second quarter. And it'll be Galen basketball. Dylan Lubin breaks free of his defender in the backcourt and brings it up the floor. Lubin left of the circles. Trying to get the offense started. Skips a pass right side for Trevor Teal. Back out up top, Carson Ahrens. Left side wing for Lubin. Back up top, Ahrens, ball fakes, back to Lubin, left corner. Kramer, left elbow, Wilson, spin move, fadeaway eight-footer off the side of the glass, no, but a foul call. A foul is called, and that'll put Wilson on the line to shoot two. The foul committed by Leary. Leary's second, team foul number two of the second quarter. And two free throws are coming here for Gabe Wilson, trying to cut this deficit down back to single digits. First free throw for Wilson's up and good. And that does get the job done, get things down to single digits in favor of Hinton. 15-6, Blackhawks lead, 6.49 to go in the first half. Second free throw for Wilson. It is up and in as well. Perfect to the line for Gabe Wilson. About five free throw misses all season and 38 tries for Wilson. And now here's Hinton with it. Hagstrom out to Kempemo, right side wing, skips a pass to Grote, left corner to Spees. Spees dribbles right, bounce pass right side wing for Kempemo. Crossover dribble, right corner, Hagstrom dumps it right block into the hands of Friesen. Back out, right wing, three ball, Hagstrom puts it up and in. A nice shot there from Will Hagstrom. He's got seven, and the Blackhawks lead is 18 to seven, 6.20 to go before halftime. Kramer jabs right, goes left, takes to the baseline, left block, throws up a shot, and he's Fouled, missing it. Two free throws coming for Jackson Kramer. And this foul. We got Hagstrom for it. It's his first. Team foul number three of the second quarter. Kramer will shoot two. And his first is too strong. Jackson Kramer 0 for 3 at the free throw line here tonight. He's coming into this contest 25% of the line this season. And the second free throw misses strong for Kramer as well. Now when it rains, it pours, unfortunately. Here's Kempema down to the right block. Cross alley pass, left block. Back out to Kempema. Left baseline. Skip pass, cross court. Right corner, Hangstrom. Back out to the right wing for Spees. Left side to Grote. Left corner, Kempema. An open look at a three. You betcha. Logan Kempema from the left corner. You cannot give him that shot if you don't want him to have success. 21-7, Hinton on top, 5.50 to go in the first half. Kramer, right elbow, Wilson backs down his defender, gets middle of the lane, ball swipe loose, goes out of bounds, last touch by the Jays, and it will be Hinton basketball. Wilson had that ball stripped right as he was putting it up, and now the Blackhawks have it up by 14, 5.40 to go in the half. And a collision. In transition, Jackson Kramer runs into Dawson Spees and fouls him on the play. This is a very physical game. Second personal against Kramer. Team foul number one of the second, and Kramer's got to go to the bench. As the Jays bring back in Nolan Teal. 5.38 to go in the half. 21-7, Hinton leads. Blackhawks play it safe. Inbound to the backcourt for DeGroote. Left side wing for Kempema. Dribbles right, skips it right into the hands of Hagstrom. Back up top, Kempema, right side wing. Hagstrom skips it left into the hands of Spees. Left corner, Kempema, another open three, and he missed it strong that time. And the rebound is tracked down by Lube, and he wants to go in space. Spins it back out left wing, out to Trevor Teal. Ball swiped loose by DeGroat, but Teal recovers. He dribbles to the arc, gets it off the dribble. Three ball, missed it short, and the rebound for Kempema. Here come the Blackhawks with a long outlet pass to DeGroat, left wing, and he settles it out top. Right side for Spees. 
It's guarded by Lubin. Skips a pass left for Hagstrom. Left corner for DeGroat. Skip pass right side for Campama. 4.54 to go before halftime. Right corner feed for Spees. Top of the arc. And an open three-pointer from Hagstrom. Drilled it. Will Hagstrom puts the Blackhawks up 17. He's got 10 points. It's 24-7. Hinton now quickly. The Jays dump it down to Carson Arns. He bodies his way in and lays it in for two. 24-9. Blackhawks, four and a half minutes to go in the break, or in the first half. Kempema with it left of the circle. Skips it right. Spees right corner in the hands of DeGroat. Skip pass back to the left side. Touch pass left corner. Kempema. Good closeout by Wilson. Free throw line. Back out Hagstrom. Left corner. Kempema gets downhill. Left block. Lose the basketball. It's picked up by Dylan Lubin. And the Jays bring it back. Down by 15. Trying to cut to the deficit before the break. Nolan Teal. Skip pass left wing. Wilson head fake down into the paint. Left block. Carson Orange dribbled it off his foot and out of bounds. It's off the Blackhawks last and it'll stay with Galen. It'll stay with Galen. The ball rolled off the Blackhawk defender last. And so Aiden Langle, the junior, will inbound. Baseline left of the hoop. Lehman, Lubin, Wilchin, and Nolan Teal into the contest for the Jays. Top of the key to Wilchin. Swings it right. Lubin lobs it back door. Lehman catches the pass, lays it in with a right hand for two. What a pretty feed from Dylan Lubin. Nice adjustment from Lehman as well. 24 to 11, Hinton. And now the Jays force a deflected ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Hinton. 3.47 to go in the first half, 24 to 11. Blackhawks lead Galen Catholic. Coming up at the half of this contest, we'll be chatting with Matt Leary, the head coach of uh, Hinton Girls Basketball. 75-35 win over the Jays here tonight. Left side wing, it's Logan Coffey. Back up top to Spees. He swings it right for Barrett back into the contest. That's good to see. It looked like he kind of tweaked an ankle earlier, but... Appears to be all right now. Right corner, Kempema. Top of the arc pass. That ball's forced loose and recovered by Spees. Right corner, shot clock's at seven. Skip pass, left corner. Barrett thought about the three, drives left baseline. A little teardrop from eight off the glass doesn't go. And the rebound for Dylan Lubin. It's a nice take for Barrett. Just couldn't quite get the shot to go. And now here come the Jays, down 13. Right corner feed, Wilson guarded tightly by Kempema. He drives on him, spins, backs him down. Right baseline, dumps it under. Left block, Lehman with the right hand. That's too strong off the heel and the rebound for Kempema. 24-11, Hinton leads, three minutes to go in the half. And the Blackhawks work it right to Kempema. Right corner for Barrett, top of the arc. Coffee back to the right corner, Barrett. Thought about the three, skips it left side, Spees back to Barrett, and back out to Coffee. They reverse it left corner. Kempema skips it right corner into the hands of Coffee. Right baseline, Barrett, face the basket, dumps it under right block with the right hand, layup's good for Cole Friesen. Cole Friesen makes it. 26-11, Hinton, 2.33 to go before halftime. Here's Lubin, left wing for Nolan Teal. Screen to his right from Wilson, doesn't take it, goes left corner, dumps it left block, Lehman inside out, Langle, right corner, Lubin catch and release, three ball, nothing but net. Dylan Lubin off the inside out look, the swing around from Langle, 26-14, Hinton, 2.13 to go in the first half. Blackhawks break the press. Barrett drives left to the alley, dumps it across the lane, off the fingertips of Friesen and out of bounds, and it's Galen basketball. Two eight to go in the half. 26-14, Hinton on top. Jays with a three can try and get it back to single digits. It's been a long road coming, and now we'll get a timeout here from Brian Wilson, the head coach of Galen Boys Basketball. We'll take the timeout as well. 26-14, Hinton leads. We're back after this. You're on KLEM. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, Make sure to stop at Pease Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pease Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pease Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. 
This is Nolan Teal, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEN. 2.05 to play in the first half. 26-14 Hinton lead coming out of the J timeout. Jays run into a buzzsaw of a Hinton defense that deflects a pass out of bounds, and the Jays will have to inbound now in the half court once more. Nolan Teal gets it into Gabe Wilton, back to Teal. Left baseline feed to Dane Lehman, spins out of trouble. Left block feeds the middle of the lane into the legs of Gabe Wilton, and the deflected ball taken back by Hinton. Kemp him up. Right of the lane, lob pass, left corner to Grote. Chucks up a three, missed it strong. Rebound for Nolan Teal, and the Jays will take it back. Minute 40 to go in the first half, 26-14, Hinton lead. Left side, Lubin, top of the key to Nolan Teal. Dribbles right of the lane, all the way to the baseline. Feeds it right block, Dane Lehman fakes the pass out. Gets fouled on the floor by the Blackhawks. Who's the foul going to be on? That's the million-dollar question now. It is Carver to Grote. And DeGroats with his second personal. Team foul number four of the second quarter. Carson Arns, Trevor Teal check in. Nolan Teal, Dylan Lubin check out. Jay's going with a very, very post-heavy lineup. Aiden Langle, the junior. Gabe Wilchin, Dane Lehman, Carson Arns on the floor. Inbound right corner to Wilchin. They dump it into the right block. Out up top to Langle. Back to Wilchin, right wing. Tees up a three ball. Missed it strong on the rebound on the backside for Caden Barrett. And here comes Hinton the other way with a minute 18 to go in the half. Right side, corner. Kempema guarded by Lehman. Kempema dribbles left, top of the arc. They reverse it back to the left wing. Out of the hands of Hagstrom. Dribbles right, skip pass right. Spees, right corner now. Coffee dribbles left, back to Spees. Top of the arc, minute to go in the half. Back to the left side, Barrett, left corner to the hands of Hagstrom. He brings it back out. Barrett skips it right, down to the right corner. Spees, shot clocks at five. Free throw line, Barrett with three. Dumps it under the basket. Kempem with the left hand, went up with it. Lost it off his leg and out of bounds. And it's Hinton basketball, 48 seconds to go before the halftime break. Again, coming up at the half, we'll be chatting with the head coach of Hinton Girls Basketball, and that's Coach Matt Leary. The Blackhawk girls won it 75-35. We'll get his thoughts on the contest coming up at half. 26-14, Hinton leads it. As the Jays try and work it across the floor, some full-court defense from the Blackhawks causing an issue. Right corner, Arn speeds the middle of the lane. Wilton with a right block layup, and he missed it strong. Offensive board, Aiden Langle, the junior. Loose ball squirts out of there. Langle fights for it on the floor, and we're going to get a whistle. Jump ball possession stays with the Jays. And Wilton got a really good look at the hoop but couldn't convert. And now the Jays will have an inbound. They can hold for the last shot if they want to. 30 and a half seconds to go before halftime. Inbound coming from Trevor Teal. Look at finds Arns at the left high post. Dribbles to his right to the free throw line. Fakes to his left. Turn around. Hook shot in the lane. Miss Strong in the rebound for Hinton. Blackhawks have 20 seconds to go in the half. They bring it up with Spees. Top of the key guarded by Arns. Blackhawks definitely want this last shot. 10 seconds to go in the half. Left side, Caden Barrett. He's guarded by Langle, the junior. Skip pass right, right corner now. Five seconds to go. Spees out top. Coffee, left side. Hagstrom gets downhill with two. Pulls up a 10-footer as time expires and missed it strong. And your score after one half, 26-14. Hinton leads it. We will take a break. We'll come back, and we will get the uh, chat with Matt Leary getting going, and we'll have your stats and things like that to recap the first half of play. 26-14, Hinton leads Galen Catholic and Boys Basketball. Back with more of our halftime coverage after this on KLEM Lamars. State Farm agent Michael Crank is a proud supporter of local athletics. Whether you are looking for auto, home, or health insurance, choose the agent that will be on your side. State Farm agent Michael Crank. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546-5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546-5062. This is Gabe Wilchin, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back to the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg joined by the head coach of Hinton Girls Basketball, Coach Matt Leary, 75-35 win over Galen here tonight. And coach, um, I know when we talked to you last when you played Galen, it was about a slow start, and uh, it was only a one-score game at the break. You didn't waste any time. You went up 10-0 and never looked back. What was the key to that hot start? Um, You know, I, I think uh, 
you know, we scored right off the tip, um, which was always big. And then, uh, you know, had a, had a couple of transitions after that. I think Carlin Kavarna had her first six points, you know, just off transition. And, and uh, then they kind of chipped away, made it 10-5. But then, uh, you know, we answered with an 18-0 run, I think, at, to make it 28-5. So, um, you know, Ashlyn, so, you know, strong on her outlet passes and um, just got a lot of transition stuff. Um, which is always good as a coach, you know, get the high percentage shots. Yeah, I know. I hear coaches always talk about turn defense into offense. Um, your defense is already smothering, and then when your offense gets going, it's it's just uh, a crazy thing to watch. Just, um, you know, what does it take for you guys to turn your defense into offense? Um, you know, the girls, uh, you know, they just trust each other. Um, you know, they're, they're so balanced and uh, – you know, and so they just know that they're going to pick each other up if somebody gets beat, help defense, and, and uh, you know, running down the other floor, you know, they really, really honestly don't care who scores. You know, if somebody's open right underneath, um, you know, they're going to give it to them. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. You know, Bailey's our leading scorer, but she's 15 a game, you know, and, and Cadence and Ashlyn are, you know, at 11 and 10, I think, and, and uh, you know, Carlin's, uh, open, you know, between eight and nine, and, um, you know, Avery's right around six, you know, so they're just, they've all scored double figures at different times, and, and you know, it's the thing, they just, they just really work really well as a unit. Well, it was definitely Bailey's night to shine for you, 26 points. Um, it seemed like whenever she got the ball down on the block, she was going to go up with it. Is that something you're always trying to work at with her, always look to score when you get down low? Yeah, definitely. You know, sometimes I think she's a little too unselfish, but, you know, tonight she shot a very high percentage. And, uh, you know, she just jumps so well and runs the floor so well. And, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of girls guarding her. She's going to beat them down the floor. And, and uh, you know, tonight she just made some really good strong moves to the hoop, which – which we were glad to see. And she rebounds so well, too. I mean, yeah. the offensive putbacks she gets are, are just tremendous. <laughs> yeah, she reads reads the ball very well, um, you know, and others miss. She knows where it's going and, and, again, can jump so well and put it right back up, you know, before a lot of people know what's happening. And, and uh, you know, she's, like, right around 10, 10 rebounds a game, too, so almost averaging a double-double, which is always good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's never a bad thing. Um, you you uh, you mentioned you got Carlin going there. She had 13 points for you. Um, you know, like you said, it, you you have so many players that can score, but then you have players that can score at so many different levels as well. Carlin's one of those. She can spread the floor. She can get bumped inside and score. She's she's just such a versatile player. For she you. is definitely versatile. You know, uh, you know, being just a sophomore. You know, last year, you know, she came off the bench for us and. And this year she probably was going to be our sixth man too until uh, Kyra uh, Peters tore her ACL right before the season started. So then she was kind of throwing in the starting role, and and she's just you know figuring out what what she can do. You know she just has so much potential, and she, you know she's a tough matchup. She's got long arms, but she can handle the ball, play guard, and you know go score inside, and you know like you said, and then you know sometimes step out and shoot the three, and and uh, you know she's just getting this figured out of. You know, just tapping into the amount of potential that she really has. Absolutely. Um, we, I, I talked to Coach Shecker at the end of the game, and, uh, boy, when you could start 5'11", 6 foot, 6 foot, we've talked about the length that you guys have. Is it something in the water in this town, or, or what's the deal with that? <laughs> well, you know, it was a good – when I coached uh, from 94 to 2004, we had some good length then. And then, um, you know, when I came back uh, seven years ago, we were, we were kind of on the short end, you know, for a while, so – um, but it's it's good to have have him back, and yeah. we got some more coming up in the in the middle school too. Oh, man. Yeah, so <laughs> um, so yeah, we hope we got some a lot of good days ahead for hitting girls basketball. Yeah, Northwest Iowa, beware, that's for sure. Um, nine game winning streak now, just two more games before the tournament starts. Uh, the the key to continuing this momentum and to playing your best basketball here in the month of February is is what for your girls? Um. You know, I, I think we just got to continue to, you know, hang our hat on our defense. Like you said, turn our defense into our best offense. Um, one thing we challenge the girls is uh, after the HMS game last Friday night is just to communicate better. Um, you know, um, we had a few breakdowns where we just didn't, 
you know, pick up matchups and they got a few easy transition buckets on us. So, you know, it's just communicating and, you know, you hope when you get down the tourney trail, the crowds get bigger and, yep. and uh, you know, they're not going to be able, you know, they're going to have to quarterback each other mm -hmm. right out on the court. And uh, so that's, you know, just kind of clean up things, take care of the ball and, and communicate uh, kind of the things we want to um, strive for as we close out the season. And, and just keep doing the things you do well, you know, defense and sharing the ball. Yeah, you do so many things well. It's showed here tonight and uh, uh, a really good win for you guys again. So, Coach, wish you the best of luck as the uh, season winds down. Congrats on the win. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Absolutely. It's Matt Leary, head coach of uh, Hinton Girls Basketball. Joining us on our halftime coverage, we'll recap the boys' first half when we come back here on KLEM. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546-7881. South Greenview Estates is a peaceful living space located across from Willow Creek Golf Course in Lamar's. Check out their 55-plus apartments. For a private showing, call 548-7424. For more details, check out their Facebook page, South Greenview Estates in Lamar's. Klein Insulation could provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540 5691. That's 540 5691. Grow your money risk free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. At Fetters Marine and RV, you are sure to find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be fifth wheel, travel trailer, and toy hauler models from Crossroads, Dutchman, and Coachman. At Fetters Marine and RV, where the road to adventure starts. For all of your commercial or residential concrete or construction needs, J-Max Construction is ready for you. At J-Max Construction, you can be sure that your project will be handled with great customer service as well as the best of class construction and concrete work. Call J-Max Construction and Concrete today at 540-0574. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for. It always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of Hy-Vee. Lamar's. MRK Insurance knows that teamwork is dream work. At MRK Insurance, you get a great partner for all of your insurance needs. Visit them today on Central Avenue in Lamar's for a no obligation quote for all of your insurance needs. That's MRK Insurance in Lamar's. The Lamar's Agri Center, your local source for Scott's lawn products, top performing Kent feed products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed, and outstanding service. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your source for everything that grows. This is Jackson Kramer, and you're listening to Chase Basketball and KLEM. We walk you back to our halftime coverage here from Hinton as the Hinton Blackhawks lead Galen Catholic by a score of 26 to 14. Quickly running down some of the numbers of note. The Jays led offensively by Carson Ahrens and Dane Lehman with four points apiece. Blackhawks getting 10 points from Will Hagstrom, eight points from Logan Kempema. Shoot 11 of 25 from the field, four of 10 from the three-point arc. Jays did some really good things in that second quarter, kept it close. They went inside a lot more. See what happens here in quarter number three. Blackhawks start with the basketball. This is Logan Kempema at the top of the arc, feeds it over to the right wing for Barrett. Back top for Leary. He drives middle of the lane, gets to the cup of the right hand, lays it strong, but he was fouled on the shot by Nolan Teal. And two free throws are coming for Kyle Leary. It's Teal's second personal, team foul number one of the third quarter. And Kyle Leary will have a couple of free throws, 73% shooter at the line this season. And Leary's first free throw is up and good. 
27-14, Henton leads this Wrangell Conference matchup over Galen Catholic. It was 13-3 to at the end of the first. And, and we played a much even, much more even second quarter. Second free throw coming here for Leary. It is up and good. Perfect trip to the line for Kyle Leary. 28-14, Blackhawks up two touchdowns here with 7.46 to play in the third quarter. Galen Catholic brings it into the half court with Dylan Lubin. As they try and cut to this now 14-point deficit, they find themselves in. Bounce pass is lazy, taken away by Caden Barrett. Right side of the lane to the block. Lubin with a good job recovering. Pokes the ball loose. Barrett diving for the loose ball. Out to the right high post. They reverse to the left corner. Hagstrom drives into the yard. Out top to DeGroat. Back to Hagstrom. Left side. Dumps to the left block. Kempema drives in the lane. Arns wrapped the ball around and fouled Kempema going up with a shot. Two free throws coming for Logan Kempema as Arns picks up his first. Team foul number two of the third quarter. So two free throws coming here for ha uh, Kempema. And his first is in out of it too strong. 28-14 Blackhawks, 7.22 to play in the third quarter. Second free throw is good off the front of the rim and backboard. 29-14, Hinton on top, 7.20 to go in the third. Dylan Lubin dribbles left side wing. And he loses the basketball. It's taken away by Will Hagstrom. Here come the Blackhawks the other way. Another careless turnover by the Jays. Out top, reverse in the left side. Kempema tries to take the left baseline. Cut off by Wilson of the block. And out up top, it's DeGroat. DeGroat over to the right side. Right corner into the hands of Barrett. Caden Barrett into the alley for Kempema. Backdoor cutting with the right hand. And he lays it off the glass and in for two. Logan Kempema makes it a 17-point Blackhawk lead. He's got 11. 31-14 Hinton. 6.43 to go in the third. Right corner kick out. Dylan Lubin to catch and release three. Comes up short. Fight for the rebound. Results in a jump ball possession to Galen Catholic. So Jays keep possession, but still trail it by 17. Only 14 points here in this contest. 31-14 Hinton leads. Trevor Teal to inbound. They find Nolan Teal middle of the lane. Ball's out of his hands, and Caden Barrett Picks up a loose ball. Here comes Kempema. Left corner. Feed to DeGroat. Back to Kempema. Left wing. Skip pass right for Hagstrom. Down to the right corner. Barrett. It's guarded by Lubin. Dribbles to his left. Top of the arc. And Leary dribbles to the left side. Hand off for Hagstrom. Around the point. Free throw line. Pull up 13 footer. Rattles in and out. And the rebound for Carson Arns. Here comes Trevor Teal. Between the legs, dribble at the top of the arc. Left side wing for Dylan Lubin. Down to the left baseline. Wilson backs down. Kemba, left block. Throws a shot up. Too short off the glass. And then a tie-up for the rebound. Results in a jump ball. And the possession to Hinton. Wilson still has yet to make a field goal here tonight for the Jays. As only two points came at the free throw line. Six minutes to go in the third. 31-14. Blackhawks on top of this Oracle Conference Boys Basketball Showdown. Barrett right side to Kempema. Top of the arc to Leary. Looking down low. Finds Barrett. Left corner kick out to Crow. An open look at a three. It's off the front of the rim. Rebound tap to the end line. Barrett kept it alive and threw it off the leg of Trevor Teal and out of bounds. What a job by Caden Barrett to keep the possession. It'll be Galen or a Hinton basketball. Kempema will inbound baseline right of the hoop for the Blackhawks. Guarded by Nolan Teal on the inbound. They get it in right corner. Barrett. Gets pushed into the student section by Dylan Lubin and a foul called. It's Lubin's first. Team foul number three of the third quarter. And the Blackhawks will inbound on the right wing. 31-14. Hinton on top of Galen Catholic. 5.40 to go in quarter number three. Kempema inbounds to Barrett. Kempema gets the ball back. Dribbles free throw line. Kick out pass left wing. Hagstrom a three. Miss strong. And the rebound pulled down by Dane Lehman. Here come the Jays now. Lehman runs the floor to the top of the arc. To the free throw line. Left high post for Wilson. Tried to get dumped down to Arns on the left block. And Kyle Leary had good positioning. Deflects the pass away. And the Blackhawks take it up with Kempema. Right of the circles. Logan Kempema. Right corner now for Hagstrom. Pass back up top. Barrett skips it left. Down to the left corner for Kempema. Shot clock's down to 18. Kapama up top to Kyle Leary. Dribbles to the right side. Hand off Barrett. Free throw line. Pull up 17-footer. That's too strong. And the rebound is controlled by Gabe Wilchin. Jays need a score. They've gone three minutes to start the second half without any points. 
Wilson, handoff, right wing, bounce pass, right block. Arns to the cup of the right hand. His layup missed strong. Layman's put back, missed short. Rebound tapped out to the right wing, and Nolan Teal recovers it. He throws it off a of Blackhawk, and it touched the Jays with Nolan Teal out of bounds. And it'll be Hinton basketball. Boy, what a turn of events here for Galen. They just cannot find the bottom of the net here once again. 31-14, Hinton, 4.38 to go in the third. Here in the right corner is Logan Coffey, dribbles left. Crossover dribble on Lehman, top of the key. Coffey picks up his dribble. No, he doesn't, he dribbles right. It looked like he gathered it for a moment. Kept him on top of the arc, pick and roll feed, right block. Kyle Leary lays it off the glass and in. And a 33-14, Blackhawk advantage. On a nice pick and roll feed, Kempema and Leary. Trevor Teal, half court circle to Nolan Teal. He dribbles left off a pick from Ahrens. Left corner feed, Trevor Teal open look at a three, splashed it in. Trevor Teal gets the Jays on the board, finally here to start the second half. 33-17, Hinton, four minutes to go in the third. Around the perimeter, it's Logan Kempema with the left of the circle, skip pass right, driving the right baseline to the block is Carver to Grote, and he is fouled with a right-hand floater. Two free throws coming here for DeGroat. The foul is on Jackson Kramer. It's Kramer's third. Team foul number four of the third quarter. Kramer just checked into the ball game, and DeGroat will now have two free throws because of it. 33-17, Hinton leads Galen Catholic. First of two here for Carver DeGroat. Is up and in. 34 to 17, Hinton leads. Carver DeGroat now has three points. DeGroat, a 65% free throw shooter on the year and his second free throw is up and good. 35-17, Hinton leads and now John Spees well, it's a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well with 3.52 to go in the third. Blackhawks by 18. We're back after this here on KLEM. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's. Dr. Becky DeRider. Certified public accountants, Cruz and Cruz, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruz and Cruz Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. This is Trevor Teal, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. With 3.52 to go in the third quarter, the Jays have only been able to muster three points here in the second half. Meanwhile, Hinton has scored nine. It's 35-17 Blackhawks, 3.47 to go in the third. Nolan Teal works off a pick, gets to the right block, gets bumped with a shot. It couldn't quite flip over the front of the rim and in, but he was fouled. And two free throws are coming. The foul is on Kyle Leary, and that's his third. Team foul number one of the third quarter for Hinton. That's a costly third foul for Kyle Leary. First free throw for Nolan Teal is up and in. And Leary's got to go to the bench. 35-18, Hinton leads Galen Catholic. 3.44 to go in the third. And the second free throw here for Nolan Teal is up and good. Perfect to the line for Nolan Teal. Exactly what the doctor ordered. 35-19, Hinton, 3.41 to play in the third. Right corner feed now for Logan Coffey. Up top of the arc, it's Kempema. Swings it left side for Speeds. Dribbles right. Out right side, down to the right corner now to Grote. Dribbles left on Aiden Langle, the junior. Free throw line, kick pass, left side. Kempema, three ball, up and strong. And the rebound for Dane Lehman. He wants to push. Here come the Jays quickly. Lehman, top of the arc. Ball swiped at. He pivots out to Kramer, right of the circles. Jackson Kramer dribbles the basketball. Trying to break down his defender. Kick out pass Nolan Teal. Right baseline driving. Pull up. Kick out right wing. Kramer tees up a three ball. Missed it short of the rebound for Logan Kempema. Another offensive possession for the Jays. That does not bear points. Dawson speeds. Half court circle. Looks left. And that pass does get to DeGroat. He drives by Kramer. Middle of the lane. Pass to Kempema. Is deflected by the Teals. And Nolan Teal comes up with it. Throws it up the floor to Lehman, left side wing, and he's fouled in the collision by Cole Friesen. Cole Friesen commits the foul. And that is his first. Team foul number two of the third quarter. 
Galen trying to go into their bench, see if something can get kicked going here. Owen Seavers checks in, Gabe Wilton in, and the Teals go to the bench. 35-19, Hinton leads Galen. 2.42 to play in the third. Here's Jackson Kramer, left of the circle. Dribbles off a layman pick of the free throw line. Kramer down to the right block. Wilson turns around over Kempema, and he missed the jumper short, but he was fouled. Two free throws coming as Logan Kempema picks up his second, and team foul number three of the third quarter. Gabe Wilson will shoot two free throws. Trying to get the Jays above 20 points here on the night. Wilton's first is good. 35 to 20, Hinton leads. Again, Gabe Wilton has really been held in check here tonight. Just three points, and his three points have had to come to the free throw line. Thank goodness he's a good free throw shooter. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have much of anything. Second free throw here for Gabe Wilton. Is up, and it's good. 35-21, Hinton leads it. 2.35 to play in the third quarter. The Jays have a spurt in them that can get this game to single digits at least before the end of the third. Right side wing, Logan Coffey dribbles on Lehman, back out up top to Kempema. It's guarded by Wilson out there. Left side wing for Spees, ball fake. Spees dribbles right, back top, Kempema, right corner into the hands of Hagstrom. Top of the arc, Kempema, left side into the hands of Coffey. Bounce pass down low is intercepted by Dane Lehman. And the Jays have a run out the other way. Here's Lehman right of the circles. Dumps it down to the right block. Wilson works on Kemba. Turnaround jumpers up and good. Gabe Wilson has his first field goal to fall here tonight. And it's 35-23. Galen Catholic trails by a dozen. Minute 52 to go in the third quarter. Right side wing, Dawson Spees, dribble handoff, Kempema, top of the arc, crossover, Wilson, left of the lane to the block, throws it across the lane, Jackson Kramer there to take away the pass, and the Jays can cut it to 10 or 9. Kramer, right of the circles, down to the right corner for Dane Lehman, he tees up a three ball, missed it short, offensive rebound, Wilson puts it off the glass, too strong, rebound, deflects out of bounds, and a foul is called. And this one's going against the Jays, I think. See who the foul is on first. It's on Gabe Wilson. That's his first. Team foul number five of the third quarter, and it results in bonus free throws here for Hinton. i going to say Logan Kempema was the victim of the foul, so he'll shoot two. There's got to be a lid on the hoop right now here for Galen Catholic. They just cannot get some of these bunny putbacks to go. First free throw here for Kempema up and in. 36-23. Hinton leads Galen, minute 27 to go in the third quarter. And the second free throw here for Kempema. Trying to make it back to a two touchdown advantage. And his shot is around the rim and out, and the rebound is tracked down by Hagstrom. He throws it out right wing for Deleary, and the Blackhawks keep possession. It's another costly missed rebound there for the Jays. Right side, Hagstrom. Skips it left to Grote, left wing, Kempema, contested three-pointer off the heel. Rebound, Owen Seavers, and the Jays get the ball back. Here they come. Seavers gets quickly to the free throw line. Right wing, kick out, three ball, Nolan Teal up and short of the rebound for DeGroat. And then Dane Lehman commits a foul on the rebound. There could be two free throws coming. Dane Lehman picks up his second personal, and again, the Jays are at five team fouls. I think they're going to get DeGroat for the foul, or the victim of the foul, so he'll have two. Minute and one second to go in the third quarter, 36-23. Hinton up on Galen Catholic here in Oregon Conference Boys Basketball. DeGroat with his first of two at the line. It's off the front of the rim, no good. DeGroat just a 65% free throw shooter on the year. He is two for three at the line here this evening. The second free throw here for Carver DeGroat. And it is up and short as well. 0 for 2 at the line for Carver to grow. And the Jays want to go quickly the other way. Here they come. Nolan Teal. Right corner pass off the fingertips of Owen Seavers and out of bounds. And it's Hinton basketball. 54 seconds to go in the third quarter. 36 to 23 in favor of Hinton. Blackhawks bring it up with Dawson Spees to the top of the arc. Spees is guarded by Seavers out there. Left side wing for Hagstrom. 
Guarded by Nolan Teal. Hagstrom dribbles right, skips it over right of the circles for DeGroat. Right corner now for Spees. Dribbling to his left, top of the arc for DeLeary. Kyle Leary, a handoff, left wing, Carver to grow to the free throw line, spins out of the defender, left block, dumps it under, right block, Kyle Leary shot this short of the rebound for Gabe Wilchin. Here come the Jays, wanting to work quickly. Wilchin gets into the half court, right to the circle, it's picked up by Dawson Speeds. Right side wing, Nolan Teal, right corner, Owen Seaver gets a wide open look at a three, missed it strong, and long rebound for Nolan Teal, eight seconds left in the third. Teal under the basket, right block, throws the middle of the lane, Aiden Langle, the right hand teardrop up and in. Two seconds left to go in the third quarter. Dawson Spees, a three-quarter court heave as time expires. Misses everything strong. And your score after three quarters of play, 36-25. Hinton leads this one here in Warrigal Conference basketball. We'll take a break. And the fourth quarter comes your way next here on KLEM. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor of local athletics. For all of your custom awards and engraving needs, visit Plymouth Awards and Engraving at 134th Avenue Northeast in Lamars. You are sure to find that perfect gift for anyone at Plymouth Awards and Engraving. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive-up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. This is Aiden Langle, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Fourth quarter starts off well for the Jays. A Dane Lehman basket on the left block cuts it to single digits, 36-27. Hinton leads it. Start of the fourth quarter. Now Lehman intercepts the pass of the high post, tries to run it in transition. Left baseline kept the ball free. Nolan Teal right block. Gabe Wilson leads it. The defender lays it in plus the foul. And the Jays have some life. They've scored four right away with a chance at one more. This foul's on Kyle Leary. It's his fourth. Team foul number one of the fourth quarter. Kyle Leary now in a world of foul trouble. One away from the limit. Gabe Wilson and one free throw up and in. And just like that, five points start the fourth quarter. Now it's 36 to 30 in favor of Hinton. 7.28 to play in regulation. Well, this is the Galen team that's been waiting to come out of its shell here tonight. Right side wing here for Will Hagstrom. Free throw line dish to Friesen. Back out to Hagstrom. Crossover dribble gets down the right side of the key to the block. Lost it off his leg out of bounds. And it's Galen Catholic basketball. And now John Spees wants to stop the pleading quickly. He calls a quick timeout with 7.16 to go in the game. Six-point Blackhawk lead. It'll be Jay basketball when we come back here on KLEM Lamars. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. Young and old alike enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. This is Coach Wilchin, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and the video stream on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. 7-10 to play in the game, 36-30. Hinton leads off the dribble, three off the front of the rim from Trevor Teal, and Galen gets the long rebound out to Dylan Lubin, and they'll reset it. Right corner, here's Nolan Teal. Bounce pass, right high post. Wilson throws him a wild 10-foot shot and missed everything wide right. Definitely forced it. And now Hinton will take it back. Logan Kempman will now lose the basketball. Nolan Teal, right block floater, too strong, but he was fouled on the shot. And Nolan Teal will shoot two. The foul is on Caden Barrett. It's Barrett's first, team foul number two of the fourth quarter. And two free throws are coming here for Nolan Teal. 
6.49 to play, six point Blackhawk lead. Teal's first free throw is in and out. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a free throw get that far down and not go through. Man, tough break there. Second free throw coming here for Nolan Teal. His second shot is up, and that's short, 0 for 2 at the line for Nolan Teal. And the Blackhawks dodge a bullet. Still lead by 6, 6.40 to go in the game. Spees, left wing into the hands of DeGroat. Back to the left corner, Spees guarded by Lubin, dribbles right, top of the arc for Friesen. Right side wing, right corner. Now for DeGroat, back up top, it's Coffee. Right corner to Groat. Skip pass left into the hands of Friesen. Looking, left wing, Spees has it, dribbles to the top of the arc, shot clock's at nine, handoff to Grote, right of the circle, Friesen with five seconds, right corner down to the right block, Kampama turns around in a double team, left corner kick out to Grote, an open three with a shot clock going off, it missed off the front of the rim, and the rebound tro- uh, controlled by Nolan Teal. Here come the Jays, down by six, left corner, Aiden Langle, the junior, his foot on the arc for two, missed it strong, tie up for the rebound, results in a jump ball possession to Hinton. And a timeout called by Ryan Wilson. I don't think he's been happy with the shot selection here in this contest to this point. 6.01 to play in the game, 36-30. Hinton leads back with more high school basketball after this on KLEM. Pete's Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pete's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pete's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pete's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. This is Carson Arns, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEN. We walk you back inside the Hinton High School gym here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you. Six minutes to go in the game. It is 36-30. Hinton leads Galen Catholic. Blackhawks have been held in check to start the fourth quarter. Jays got off to a hot start. Have been dwindling since. Right corner pass into the hands of Carver to Grote. Kicks it out right side wing. Coffee back up top to Kempema. Kempema dribbles left into the hands of Friesen. Left side wing for Spees. Trying to get down to Kempema. They find him. Left baseline. Works under the basket. Throws it across the lane. Right baseline. Ten-foot jumper. Misses strong from Logan Coffey. Rebound for Nolan Teal. Here come the Jays. Down by six. Wilson back to Teal at the top of the arc. Nolan dribbles free throw line. Backs down his defender, dumps it left block. Layman spins toward the baseline, lays it in with the left Supporting hand. Supporting our students and their endeavors at school. Game. 36-32, Hinton. 36 to 32, Hinton leads it. It's Blackhawk basketball. Top of the key to Grote, and he traveled. To Grote travels with the basketball, and the Jays will get it back. Oh my goodness, the Jays have scored seven and answered here in the fourth quarter. And now, had to make sure the possession arrow is correct, and it is now. 5.07 to go in the game, 36-32, Hinton. Jays get the ball after the traveling violation against the Blackhawks. Double-team trap, throw it up to Dane Lehman. Left corner kick out. Owen Seavers for three. It's good. It's a one-point game. It is a 10-0 run here to start the fourth quarter. Jays down one, 36-35. Here come the Blackhawks now. Kempema. Left side corner, Cole Friesen guarded by Lehman, rolls a pass wide to the target. Nolan Teal with it with 4.40 to go. 36-35, Hinton, here comes Owen Seavers. Right side wing and he traveled on gathering the basketball. And Hinton will get it back. With 4.34 to play in this game. Both coaches have three timeouts remaining. This is going to come down to the wire here, I have a feeling. Dawson Spees, left side, Carver to Grove. Screen to his right from Kempema, pick and pop. Pass back out, it's deflected by Wilson and Nolan Teal with a loose ball. Teal blows by Kempema. Free throw line, right corner kick out to Wilson, deflected. Gaber covers the bouncing ball, right high post. Turnaround 12-footer, off the front of the rim, no good. And the rebound for Hinton. Still a one-point Blackhawk lead. Blackhawks have not scored in four minutes of this fourth quarter. Left side corner, Logan Kempema rolls a pass. Left block, turnaround, hook shot off the glass is good for Dawson Spees. Much needed basket 
And it's 38-35, Hinton. 3.53 to go in the game. Here's Lubin. Right side wing, handoff, Nolan Teal. Back to the left side, Seavers. Top of the arc, Teal. Back to Seavers. Back to Teal. Free throw line dish. Wilchin spins around the defender. Right hand hook off the window's good. It's a one point game again. 38 37, Hinton. 3.35 to go in the game. And here comes Carver to Grope. Left side wing for Kempema. Gets a screen from Leary. Crossover dribble to his left hand. Takes it left of the lane to the block. He lost it off his leg and out of bounds. Dane Lehman deflects the dribble off of the kicking le running leg of Logan Kempema. It'll be Galen basketball. 38-37, Hinton, 3.26 to play in regulation. And here come the Jays. Right corner feed, Owen Seavers. Back out to the right wing, Nolan Teal. Free throw line, turn around, right elbow jumper from Wilson's money, and the Jays have their first lead. 39-38, Galen Catholic, 3.10 to play in the contest. Spees, left side wing, Hagstrom dribbles right. Back out up top for DeGroat. Left side, Kempemoy drives the left baseline to the block, lays it off the glass, it danced out. It's Kyle Leary then tied up for the rebound by Dane Lehman. It'll be a jump ball possession to the Jays. How did Logan Kempema's first layup not go in? Now we got a timeout from John Spees, head coach of the Blackhawks. Three minutes to go, 39-38 Jays. We're back with more Warrigal Conference basketball after this here on KLEM Radio. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. This is Nolan Teal, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Three minutes to go in this game, 39-38, Galen Catholic, their first lead of the evening, and the Jays have the basketball. Right side, Trevor Teal, top of the key, Nolan Teal, to the free throw line, left corner kick out, Seavers gets downhill, top of the arc, Nolan Teal, free throw line jumper, short, long rebound, controlled by the Blackhawks. Huge stop for Hinton's defense. Here comes DeGroat, right corner. Goes up top to Dawson Spees. Dribbles left to the wing for Hagstrom. Looking for Kevin. Can't find him. Top of the circle, Leary. Right side to Grote. Right corner, Spees. The freshman dribbles to his left. Spees picks it up. Skips it left side. Hagstrom left corner to Grote. Back out up top. Leary a head fake. Back to the left corner to Grote. He tees up a left corner. Three ball off the glass and short of the rebound for Galen. Both teams trade misses. 2.14 to go. Jays up one. 39-38. Right corner bounce pass. Owen Seavers gets an open look at a three. Takes it, missed it short. Rebound to the end line. Off Gabe Wilchin, out of bounds. It's Hinton basketball. 2.05 to go in regulation. Jackson Kramer in. Owen Seavers out. Jays really need to be deliberate with the basketball up by one. Take that. Game clock down, eat some clock, take the last po shot possible here. Dawson Spees, left side for Kempema. One point J lead, Blackhawks to the corner with Spees. He dribbles left to the point, left side wing Kempema. It's guarded by Nolan Teal, cross him over. Left high post, left corner kick out to Crow, dribbles right. Out up top for Hagstrom, right side wing now for Spees. Free throw line, kick out up top, Leary left side. Shot clock's at 10, left corner for Hagstrom. Back out up top, Kempema with seven seconds on the shot clock. Screen to his left from Leary, double team help comes and Lehman took the ball away. One on none to the hoop, Lehman with a right hand, he missed the layup. Oh board, Trevor Teal, bodies hitting the floor and Trevor's fouled. Trevor Teal's fouled on the putback, Lehman missed the open layup. And this foul goes against Dawson Spees. His first, team's third of the fourth quarter, and Trevor Teal will shoot two free throws. 
Just a 59% free throw shooter. Even if he's perfect, it'll be still a one score game at three points. Minute 28 to go in the game. Galen Catholic with three timeouts. Hinton's got two left. Two free throws here for Trevor Teal. The first is good. 40 to 38, Galen Catholic. Their first lead of the night now doubles to two. 40 to 38, Galen Catholic. Second free throw here for Trevor Teal. Gonna make it a three point game. It's up, it is good. Perfect to the line for Trevor Teal. 41-38, Galen, minute 25 to play in the game. Here's Dawson Spees, right wing, Kevin right corner to Caden Barrett. Top of the arc, Leary, left side wing for Spees. Dribbles to his right to the charity stripe and backs it out. Left side wing, crossover dribble from Kevin left baseline to the block, he got fouled, putting up a shot, he missed it short. Two free throws coming here for Kevin can cut it to a one point game. The foul is on Dane Lehman. Layman's third, team foul number one of the fourth quarter, and Kempem has got two big free throws. Try and keep it as close to a one-score game as possible. Kempem is first. It's up and it's short. Costly miss there. Kempem is two for five of the free throw line here in the second half. The second free throw for Logan. After three bounces, is up and it rattles home. 41-39, Galen leads. And Hinton's now down two. Nolan Teal gets middle of the alley, out to Kramer. Left side wing beyond the arc. He dribbles to his left, to the baseline. Backs it out, Trevor Teal. Don't take the shot if you're the Jays. Nolan Teal down to Lehman. Ball deflected out, Trevor Teal. Top of the key to Nolan Teal. Left side, Trevor Teal, free throw line, Kramer, shot fake, out up top, shot clock at 12, Nolan Teal, runner, right block, Miss Strong, rebound tap to the left corner, it's controlled by DeGroat, and here comes Hinton, down just two. Caden Barrett, left wing, top of the key, Kempema, 35 seconds to go in the game, pick and roll with Leary, Leary didn't get open, left side wing, Barrett, out up top, Kempema, two point Galen lead, Hinton with it, Kempema off a pick, ball stripped by Kramer and a foul called. The shot clock will turn off as well. Kramer picks up his fourth, team foul number two in the fourth quarter. And the Blackhawks can hold for the last shot here if they want to. A two ties it, a three wins it. 27 seconds to go in regulation. 41-39, Galen Catholic. Kemp to inbound on the left wing. He bounced it into Spies. Top of the arc, left side to Barrett. Dribbles to his right, right side wing, DeGroat, top of the arc, Barrett, 20 seconds to go, off a pick, right elbow, they feed it to Leary, left block, right up off glass is good, and we're tied at 41. Kyle Leary ties the game, here come the Jays, 10 seconds to go, Gabe Wilton, right wing, timeout, Ryan Wilton, oh, a carry right before the timeout, turns the basketball over, and it's Hinton basketball, timeout, John Spees, eight seconds to go. And the Blackhawks have it in a tie game. We'll take the timeout as well. Either we're going to overtime or the Blackhawks will win and we come back on KLEM. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of High V and Lamars. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. This is Gabe Wilson, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back here inside the Hinton High School gym in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you. Eight seconds remain in regulation. This ball game's tied at 41. 
And it's Hinton ball out of the gale and turnover. Inbound pass deflected. Hagstrom recovers. Spins out of the defense. Four seconds to go in the game. Right high post. Right corner kick out to Grow for three in the win. It missed strong. And we are going to overtime here in Hinton. Tied at 41. The Blackhawks and the Jays will play four more minutes of this contest. We come back. Don't go anywhere, folks. Overtime's on the way next here on KLEM Lamar's. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. This is Jackson Kramer, and you're listening to Chase Basketball and KLEM. We've got four more minutes on the clock, and we're heading to overtime. Hinton and Galen Catholic tied at 41. Blackhawks win the opening tap of the extra period, and they bring it up the floor with Logan Kempema. Left of the circles and between the legs dribble, he gives it off to Caden Barrett on the right wing. And now to the right corner now for Spees. Dumps it down to the right baseline. Barrett backs down Dylan Lubin. Kick out free throw line. Larry left baseline. Good cut for Negro. Left block goes up with a shot, and he's fouled. And two free throws coming for Carver to grow. Tied at 41 here in overtime number one. The foul is on Gabe Wilchin. It's his second personal. Team foul number three of the fourth quarter. Each coach gets an extra timeout here in the overtime period. Well, the first of two free throws for Carver to Grote. For the first lead of OT is up and strong. Blackhawks have not been able to hit free throws here in the second half and overtime period. Seven of 13 as a team at the line here in this second half. Second free throw for DeGroote, it's good. And the Blackhawks have the first lead, 42 to 41 here in overtime, 3.38 to go in the extra period. Dylan Lubin, left high post, kick out to the left wing. Nolan Teal, left elbow to Wilchin. He spins into trouble, tied up for the basketball. It'll be a jump ball, possession to Galen Catholic still. But the Jays lose the arrow with 3.28 to go in overtime. 42-41, Hinton leads Galen Catholic. Jays trying to inbound. They lob it up top to Dylan Lubin, right of the circles. Right corner feed, Trevor Teal. Looking down low for Lehman. Can't find him. Dribbling left over to the right wing for Nolan Teal. Dribbles to the right baseline. Pulls up a 10-footer. Missed it strong. And the rebound pulled down by Kyle Leary. Still a 42 to 41 Hinton lead here in overtime. 3.08 to play in the extra period. Left wing Barrett, top of the key to Dawson Speeds. He's guarded by Trevor Teal out there. Spees looks to the right side, wing into the hands of DeGroote, dumps it right block. Logan Kempema backs his way in the lane. Left hand hook, Miss Strong, he got his own board, puts it up too strong as well. No foul called. Logan Kempema wanted one, didn't get it. And the Jays come up with a huge stop after allowing two high percentage looks. Trevor Teal, left wing. Down to the left block for Wilson. That ball's taken away by the Blackhawks. Here comes Kempema, right of the lane of the block. And a blocking foul goes against Galen Catholic as Nolan Teal didn't get to the spot on time. Kempema runs him over. Nolan Teal picks up his third. It's team foul number four of the fourth quarter, and the Blackhawks will inbound. Fourth quarter and overtime, I should say. Again, overtime is an extension of the fourth quarter, so the fouls carry over. Inbound pass, left block. Barrett with the right hand, lays it in, plus a foul. Caden Barrett got the inbound pass right away. He was fouled by Dylan Lubin, making the shot. Second personal 
Team foul number five of the fourth quarter in overtime period. And an and one free throw coming for Caden Barrett. Can put the Blackhawks up four. 44-41, Hinton leads overtime, 2.32 to play in the overtime frame. And Barrett's and one free throw. It is up and good. Four point Blackhawk lead, 45-41. Hinton on top, 2.30 to play in the extra time. Nolan Teal, left side, Trevor Teal on the wing beyond the arc. Looking left corner, ball fake, handoff Nolan Teal. Left block, Wilson leans to the defender, leaves it off for Dane Lehman. Right block, goes up with a shot, he missed it, but he was fouled. And two free throws are coming for Dane Lehman. Fouls on Kyle Leary, that's his fifth. Fifth personal against Kyle Leary, team foul number four. And Leary is done for the game. Gets a nice ovation for the Hinton fans. Cole Friesen checks in for Leary. So Kyle Leary is the first to foul out here in this overtime game. He carried four fouls with him into the overtime, so that's kind of comes with the territory. Lehman's first of two free throws misses strong. It's still a four-point Hinton lead, 45 to 41, in favor of the Blackhawks. Second free throw upcoming here for Lehman. Can you make it a one-score game? It is up and good. One for two at the line for Dane Lehman. 45-42, Hinton, 2.13 to go in overtime. A field goal here would do wonders for them. A five-point lead in overtime would be huge. Six-point, ginormous. Right corner, Kempema, step back three, air balled strong, and the rebound for Gabe Wilchin. That would have blew the lid off this place. Here comes Nolan Teal. Jays down three, works right high post. Out up top to Dane Lehman, screen to his right. Lehman steps back at the top of the key, feeds it right corner, Carson Arns. Dribbles left, pick, left side, Nolan Teal. Shot fake, gets a screen to the charity stripe. Feeds it to Arns, rolling the lane and throws it wide, taken away by the Blackhawks. Kempema, long outlet pass, right side wing for Friesen. Out to Barrett at the top of the key. Left side of the circle for Spees, minute 30 to go in overtime. 45-42, Hinton, Spees, top of the key. Right side wing now for Caden Barrett. Back left side, Kempema, shot clock at 15. Kempema right of the circles for Friesen, right corner. Barrett throws it on the basket, Carver to Grove with a right hand, he lays it off the glass and in. Hinton's up 47 to 42 here in overtime. Wilton left corner, Aiden Langle the junior, dumps it left block, Air Arns, turnaround shot, missed short and he's fouled. And two free throws coming for Carson Arns. The foul is on Cole Friesen. It's his second. Team foul number five. So both teams have hit the limit foul-wise. Again, with fourth quarter and overtime being an extension, we won't have to touch the team foul totals the rest of the night, which means we could have a lot of free throws if this goes to a second OT. Arns will shoot two. He's perfect. It'll be a three-point game when it's all said and done. And Arns' first free throw dances home. He got the roll off the front and the right side of the rim. It's 47-43, Hinton leads, a minute three seconds to play in overtime. And the second free throw upcoming here for Carson Arns. His shot is up, it is short, and the rebound for Kempema. Then he gets fouled by Dane Lehman, 80 feet from the basket. Lehman commits the foul, it is his fourth. Two free throws here for Kempema. 47 to 43, Hinton leads Galen Catholic with a minute, one second to go in overtime. Two free throws, Kempema, the lefty, takes his first and puts it in. 48-43, Hinton on top. The Blackhawks who led it by nearly 20 points in the second half, having to go to overtime to hold on. But they're in a good spot, up five with a minute, one second to go in the extra frame. Second free throw here for Kempema is up and in. 49-43, Hinton lead, a perfect trip to the line for Kempema. And the Jays need a basket here. Nolan Teal, left high post, dumps it under right block, and Seavers is rejected by Kempema. On the layup, Seavers swatted out of bounds. It'll stay with the Jays, and now Ryan Wilton needs a timeout. 54.8 seconds to go in overtime. We'll take the timeout. Jays down six, have the basketball, and we come back on KLEM. 
Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pease Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pease Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pease Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS.net to learn more. This is Trevor Teal, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Under a minute to go in OT, Jays with the basketball, right corner for Wilton, his three won't matter, it's an offensive foul, and a legal screen against Galen Catholic, Nolan Teal commits his fourth personal foul, it does not result in free throws, now the Jays have to press the inbound, going the length of the floor, Logan Kempema will inbound, he gets it into Caden Barrett, Jays are going to need a foul at some point, probably. They throw it up. Carver to Grove. Oh, Lehman took the ball away. Jays bring it up. Right side wing, Trevor Teal. Back to Lehman, right of the circle. Three ball comes up short, long rebound, right corner. Trevor Teal keeps it alive. Right side wing, Seavers. Top of the key, Wilchin. His three ball is short. Offensive rebound, Nolan Teal lays it off the glass and in. 49-45, Hinton. Now we got another timeout on the floor. Boy, what a ball game this has been going to overtime. With 29 seconds to go, timeout on the floor will take it. Jays down four here in overtime. Back after this on KLEM Lamars. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamars supports our local student athletes trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC located at 38 First Avenue, Northwest Lamars, Iowa. This is Aiden Langle and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. 29 seconds left in overtime. Jays need a takeaway, and now they don't get it off the inbound. Carver DeGroat splits a double team. He throws it back into play, and it's taken away by Nolan Teal. Left corner feed Aiden Langle, the junior, back to Nolan. He dribbles free throw line. Ball's ripped out of his hands. Teal recovers, puts it on the floor, drives middle of the lane with the right hand. His layup missed strong, and the defensive rebound controlled by Hagstrom, and he's fouled in transition the other way. He's fouled by the Jays. Hagstrom will shoot two. It's Wilchin's third personal foul. And Hagstrom can ice it. 12 seconds to go in overtime. 49-45, Hinton leads. Hagstrom's first of two. It's up and it's strong. It remains a four-point game. 49-45, Hinton leads Galen Catholic here in overtime. 12 seconds to play in the extra frame. Second free throw here for Hagstrom. Jays need a quick basket, however it comes. Doesn't have to be a three. Hagstrom, second free throw is good. One for two at the line for Will Hagstrom, 50 to 45. Hinton leads at 12 seconds in overtime. The Jays have to get up the floor quickly. Nolan Teal starts sprinting up the floor. He takes it off the dribble, right wing three, misses strong. Rebound Caden Barrett. He is fouled in the backcourt, and that's going to do it. Caden Barrett, the rebound. He'll shoot two more free throws to ice it. Gabe Wilchin picks up his fourth. But the Blackhawks are going to survive this one after leading it by almost 20 points. Having to go to overtime. They're going to finish as victors and pick up their fourth win in a row. 50-45 to 45 the score. Two free throws coming here for Caden Barrett. The first shot of the trip is too strong off the heel, didn't want to settle in. Barrett's and one for a basket earlier on 
in the overtime frame, sparked the run. The Blackhawks didn't look back. Second free throw for Barrett is good. 51-45, Hinton lead, three and a half seconds to go. Ball rolled to Nolan Teal. Over to Gabe Wilson, half court heave with the buzzer sounding. Misses strong, and that's your ball game. In overtime, the Hinton Blackhawks win it. 51 to 45. It's their fourth win in a row. Galen Catholic has now dropped five of their last six. As Hinton improves to 11 and 7, Galen drops to 7 and 11. We'll take a break. Come back. We'll have our post game coverage for you from the Hinton High School Gym in Hinton. 51 45. Blackhawks win it in overtime. We're back after this here on KLEM Lamars. Kemp's Dairy of Lamars is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products. And they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a better business bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. When it comes to service, your Lamar's hy vee is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at hy vee where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hi, sports fans. This is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar's. We're happy to have a huge selection of what you need to efficiently maintain your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar's. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for. It always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of High V. Mars. Hi, this is Misty Zach. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at exitrealtymidwest.com. Sulan Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Sulan Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. Sulan Glass! Get more because you deserve more with Kylie Petty, Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011. Wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KyliePetty.com for your real estate needs. This is Coach Wilchin, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We walk you back inside the Hinton High School gym here tonight for our postgame coverage where the Hinton Blackhawks survive it in overtime by the final score of 51-45 to and make it a sweep of the Galen Catholic Jays here tonight. Daniel Versteg with you here on our post-game coverage. The Blackhawks win their fourth in a row. They're now 11-7 and on the year. Galen Catholic drops to 7-11. and They have lost five of their last six games. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. First for Galen Catholic. Jays shoot 15 of 51 from the field, just a little shy of 30%. Three of 19 from the three-point arc, go 13 of 22 from the free throw line. The leading scorer in the contest was Gabe Wilchin for Galen. He had 13 points. Dane Lehman had nine off the bench. Six points for Nolan Teal. It was five points apiece for Carson Ahrens and Trevor Teal. Then it was three points each for Dylan Lubin and Owen Sievers and two points 
for Aiden Langle, the junior. Boy, the Jays had to stage a massive comeback. They were down 11 just to start the fourth quarter. They were down as much as 18 in that third quarter. It was 35-17, and they just could not quite finish the job in time. And they fall to 7-11 and on the year. Hinton, meanwhile, probably feels lucky to survive this one. Improves to 11-7 and on the season. 17 of 45 from the field. 4 of 17 from the three-point arc. And 13 of 21 from the charity stripe. Blackhawks were led offensively by Logan Kempema. He had 15 points. 11 points for Will Hagstrom. Then it was 8 points for Kyle Leary who fouled out. 7 points for Carver DeGro. 4 points for Caden Barrett. And 2 points apiece. For Dawson Spies, Cole Friesen, and Logan Coffey. Boy, the Blackhawks did just enough to win here tonight. It was a back-and-forth intense battle that uh, really neither team wanted to win. It felt like for a while there the offensive execution was a little poor on both sides. I think both teams would admit that to you, uh, that, man, they needed to make some more plays on the offensive end and uh, not – not be so complacent it, it felt like it was just uh man i'm gonna you know settle for a shot i'm not gonna get the look i want and it really uh kind of cost galen there when all was said and done they had a ton of opportunities to take the clock down to wait for the last shot even if it's not a good shot any shot with one or two seconds left on the shot clock in that scenario is a good shot and uh, that's what the Jays needed. They don't get it. And the Blackhawks win it 51-45 to here in overtime. It's our first overtime game of the year. Well, thank goodness we don't do this very often because it is a – it was an entertaining game, but uh, it takes a lot out of the players, takes a lot out of everybody watching this one. You lose a, lose a couple of years off your life there watching this contest. But Hinton wins it. They've now won four games in a row. Don't look now. They are one of the hottest teams – in Northwest Iowa, knocking off Akron Westfield, George Little Rock. They will finish off the year with West Sioux at Akron Westfield and then at Sioux Central. Galen Catholic, they need to pick up the pieces. They are at MMCRU on Friday night, at West Sioux Tuesday night, and then they host South O'Brien on Friday night as well. Tough loss here for the Jays tonight, 51-45. Hinton wins it in overtime. Should be a fun finish toward the regular, the end of the regular season for both of these two teams. Our next basketball broadcast will be coming your way Friday in Marcus when Galen Catholic takes on MMCRU in Marcus. Our pregame coverage is scheduled to begin at 5.45. The girls tip off at 6. Boys will follow at about 7.30. And as always, you can catch the action right here on KLEM Radio with online audio at KLEM1410.com. And we are also planning on having a video stream of that contest. You can find that, of course, on the KLEM radio YouTube channel the final score here tonight Hinton wins it 51 to 45 make sure you tune into our KLEM sports updates uh, coming up tomorrow we will have sound from uh, a few coaches from this contest get to their thoughts on this contest make sure you also check out our website for up-to-date sports news and notes KLEM1410.com we've got our sports scores and results page there also got local sports news and our broadcast schedule so you can find us and when we are on the air next with high school basketball. It's going to be a really fun run to the finish here in the regular season. Should be a long postseason. Hoping for a nice long postseason to, uh, this year. And uh, we'll be happy to bring it to you right here on KLEM. This was a fun one. Hinton defeats Galen Catholic 51-45 in overtime. Blackhawks four in a row. Galen has dropped five of their last six. We'll say so long for now, and we'll talk to you Friday night in Marcus with more high school basketball right here on KLEM. Danny Versteg with you for Luke Larson running our video stream. Thanks for tuning in to high school basketball here tonight from Hinton right here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM, KLEM Lamars. Good evening, everyone. This is 1410 KLEM Lamars. And